<laughs> okay, welcome. It's, it's nice to have you here. So we're just going to start the meeting right now. Just call the meeting to order. And uh, first thing on the agenda is the approval of the agenda. If there's anything that uh, somebody... We have is, one late item. One late item. 5.3 strategic plan update that can be spoken to by Councillor Morris. Oh, it should just be 7.4 information. Just a lot of information. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 7.4. I just thought we sh the committee should know what uh, Sean and I told council. So that's this sure. separate piece of paper. And you guys can okay. So is that. there anything else that wants to be put on the agenda? Is everybody good with that? Okay. So, so we can move to uh, set the uh, agenda as such. Put forward. Okay. And second. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, that is, okay, and the adoption of minutes from last last meeting. Which I actually have to look at. I actually read them and I don't think I had any problems with them, Steph. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so I'll move adoption. Yeah, I'll second. Okay, and then, okay, it's all done. Okay. Do you say all and have to say all in favor? All in favor? Aye. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Oh, okay, so now we're getting into some. Okay. That's you. That's us. Going on Sport is Heidi, you also know. Yeah. All right. Okay. So again, thank so, you. Hold on, go ahead. sports site? That's the actual name, and I'll okay. share why, but go ahead. Yeah, can I just... um. You, you good, Craig? We, if I jump in here? Yeah, we'll go right 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 um, Maybe we have a new member on our committee, so maybe we could all just do a round of introductions okay. so that Mimi knows who we are and that she's in the right place. And <laughs> <laughs> That's great. We're not sure we're in the right place. We're not sure. <laughs> who are we? Um, so I'm Shauna, I'm the manager of recreation and community services for the municipality. Hi. I'm Steph, I'm the committee clerk. Okay, Craig, I'm the chair. Mm -hmm. and I'm Zion, your average volunteer director. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the volunteer. Thank you. I'm Donna. Yeah. I'm Huli, I'm representing uh, Boyne Island Football Club or Boyne Island Sports Society and passionate soccer player <laughs> for this topic. <laughs> I'm Catherine Patterson, I think I'm, I think I'm the vice chair. No. Yes, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that was in the middle. That was in the middle. <laughs> I'm Alison Morris. I'm the council representative on this committee and was on the committee many years ago, along with Catherine many years many ago. Many years ago. Great. It's been a long yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> that's welcome to me. That's, that's great. Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. So yeah. I'll just, yeah. uh, uh, just sort of take this. Uh, so what prompted you to sort of volunteer and get involved? In oh, this? I moved to Bowen three years ago okay. and I'm very fortunate to work and live on Bowen. I'm uh -huh. a house cleaner. I clean pools on. Nice. And I left um, involved in all kinds of things in Vancouver. So I'm ready to get started and get involved with the uh, community <laughs> and the recs. Okay. Very wonderful. I'm very happy to have you on board. <laughs> now that that's out. <laughs> Do you have your business card? <laughs> okay. All right. So we have a delegation tonight from the Bonal Football Club. Julian is here to yeah. talk to us um, about specifically we're talking about the turf field. So the turf field is up for replacement. Wow. Um, it is at its 10-year 
lifespan. Life, lifespan. <coughs> oh, wow. Is, it just feels like yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's, it's 10 years. 10 years. 2009. Yeah. All that. Ten years. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Through all that. Oh, Since we went through all of that. So um, it is coming up to its end of life, and we need to start talking about replacing it. Um, so Julian is here to share some ideas around uh, the football club, who are the, one of the major stakeholders in yeah. the use of that field, um, and some poss just to get some ideas on the table about what the possibilities what? are for replacement, because yeah. it's not necessarily the case that we would replace exactly what we have. Yeah. Um, I've also started doing some research on various infill um, that may be different than what we currently have as well, but um, not really ready to report on that yet, but there have been some new fields gone in recently in Whistler. I've just spoken to the director of parks there and there's one going in in West Van speaking to the director of parks there as well. So. Um, there are some, there's been a lot of uh, changes in technology and infill over the last 10 years. So I think that we will be able to hopefully um, blend uh, the community wishes. Right now we have a, an organic field, um, but I think uh, we will be able to come up with an alternative that is uh, just as environmentally friendly, um, but maybe not as maintenance heavy um, yeah. and not as costly to maintain. So I'll maybe just turn it over quickly to Julian, um, just to put some ideas on the table. I think we, at kind this point it's really doing. high level what yeah. we're talking about, and um, to, but we just wanted to hear from the club around challenges that they're currently experiencing or successes and um, some ideas that they have around the replacement of the so, so thank you, Shauna, and thank you everyone for having uh, me here. So I'm going to start a little bit with the history of the club and also what we've become, right? And as you know, and the Alan, I think you mentioned, turned, yeah. we went through that. Uh, the island was very sensitive to the idea of a field 10 years ago, right? It was a big issue here. However, what's been interesting is what the field has returned to the community. The club is probably right now the biggest club in the island from membership and participation because of the field. We provide soccer active players to, and I, I know this because I submitted the grant, being the, the application for the grant, being the treasurer, to 250 kids, and uh, no players, including adults right now. And that's without counting the families that are impacted indirectly about this. The club has grown, right? We used to manage three, four kids. When our, I talked to Shana because, and, and to Donna because our kids are the same age, and we used to have three, four kids. It was simple. We had turf time. <laughs> Right now, we have a program of four teams on the island, plus we have four other teams that are the little ones, between five and eight, plus we have the co-ed league that's going on, and we're scrambling for time to schedule time. We're actually having to reduce some of the time we're providing to our developing players on the island. As probably you all know, the club is growing. The, the island is growing, right? And, and I come from, from the banking industry and I, I look at the, the whole lower mainland as prime real estate, it will keep growing, Bowen will be just subject to that growth, like it or not. So based on that is how we plan our assets towards the future, right? And where I'm thinking 10 years down the road. And so based on the program that we're creating, for example, this summer we're going to have a summer program for the first time because the community wants it. We're going to have plan for the youth, plan for the adult, a program for the adult, both in a co-ed as well as a coaching for, for adults and get them into the game. And so what we're seeing is the need to grow our field, right? Originally, again, part of the history, 10 years ago we had the little field and then we expanded the grass field because to meet the needs of a minimum uh, field size status to have 11 aside, right? Part of that field, for those of you that know, it's on it's on, on school land, and the other half is a municipal land which we have a contract, right? So, so the the middle goes to the field. So, what we are right now exploring is we we have commissioned a feasibility study on which way to go, being keeping the the small field. What would it cost? And hopefully, we start partnering with uh, Shauna around that. And what if we do a big field? right 
what will it cost, but most importantly, what we're looking into, what are the potential revenue streams if we, based on what option we take, right? If we go to the big field, we have the opportunity to increase the revenue streams and hopefully pay the field by itself. Or that's our goal, what I'm trying to build. It's a way that we build the field, but it doesn't cost an excessive amount of money. Hopefully Sorry, Julian, just to clarify, yeah. when you're talking about the big field, you mean expanding the well, turf field to be a full size there's, turf there's, field? There's 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 several right? options in here because and again this is in the planning stage, so don't quote me out there. But basically we have three You're being recorded and yeah. video okay. live. So yeah. you'll be cool. If somebody watches. If We're not sure watches, that's, that's okay. <laughs> but the, 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 the initial concept that we have again, one leaving the, the small field where it is, and we just status quo that limits the potential of the growth of, of the club. I know, and I, I mentioned in the beginning, this is the Boyne Island Sports Society, is because the vision of the club has always been how do we expand to other sports and activities for the community, right? If we, even, even the club this year, they ask us if we could have baseball or football, there's other activities that they're wanting to schedule time for the field. And there's just not enough time for all the activities we're doing. So. Again, one option, we leave the field as is and we stay as a very small club with a growing community, right? And that's a 10-year decision that we'll be stuck with that. Okay, now on that one though, so the cost then would just simply be the turf replacement, is that? that it, the, the, yes. the turf replacement. If the size stayed the same, then cost-wise we're just talking the, the, turf replacement. Turf replacement. Right. Okay. What we would like to say is instead of replacing the cost, could we use that money to grow the field? So whatever we save as the municipality, because we pay a rent and the original agreement is that the municipality will hold those funds for replacement. 10 years ago, that's what it was. So it's, can we use that money differently? And so there's two options from an expansion. Uh, we'll talk about later that off record. <laughs> but there's a story. But basically that was a commitment. So the options are one, replace the big uh, grass field with turf and eliminate the small one. Or, if this is a small field, where we could do it is put the field in the other direction, where the small turf field is, and go all the way towards... Uh, alongside the road. Alongside, alongside the, road. the road, make the field there, and leave the grass area as is. So hang on. So you're having two skinny fields, basically. Well, the idea is to have one field only turf, yeah. and a grass area. Okay. Right? So yeah, the grass so area would not be big enough to be a regulation size. No, we will, we will just have a regulation size to turf, turf field turf. and that's it. The beauty is that when we have, and I coach also in West Vancouver, when you have a big turf field, you can divide you, it up. And you will basically divide it in three and so you triple the availability of field time. It's times three right away, right? So that's the beauty. The question is the cost, how are we going to pay for it? And that's what we're building into our feasibility analysis because the moment that we do the big field, there's a bunch of revenue streams that we can work with the club to be able to pay the field. And you're also dealing with the school board. Yes. So that's a, that's a big hurdle. So it, I've it, already spoken to Scott yeah, Slater yeah. about that and West Van Schools and um, there seem to be some appetite for they, it. They are supportive, and I thank you. I've also it is, it is the school I, property. I've also spoken to Scott, but I also work with West Van a Football Club, and they wanted to build a field a year ago, right? And they stumbled because in, in, in their last stage, because uh, where they wanted to build it, the field was like a million, million and a half, but they had to build like four million retention wall. Oh yeah. Right. Where so did so they the, want to put it. Hugo Ray. I, I don't remember the, the name, but the I one up above the high. Yeah, line. yeah, it's it's built on an old uh, dump. Yeah. So the, the back end of the yeah. the back end of the field has so, been so that's into up. the river for a long but time. But basically, by talking to those individuals, the school board was willing to put money into the project. So so basically, what I'm trying to build is a feasibility study to understand. I know there's some grants available for this. If we could have some money of what was planned for the turf to be invested in turf for the big field. And then, like I said, we're working with school board if needed, and then we're working into what revenue streams we can create of this, and we would get a pool of local community investors that will help us fund the field for the 15-year plan, right? 
Okay, the, the investors, who would that be? The like school board was going to... No, work. we're going to look for community investors. Okay. Donor, right? Donors. Do, no, it's not donation. Okay. This that's is different than donation. What I'm looking is for like a community bond, but it's something that it will be on the club and say, look, invest in the club, in the field, and we're going to have a revenue model to generate back to you. Because the moment that we have the big field, we can generate more revenue. So you're thinking what, tournaments and festivals? Tournaments, we can do in the summer, more summer programs. We can invite a team to come and spend three days here. So in you're a, looking at getting people to loan you the money? Yes, and part of it. That's why we're yeah. going to look the grants and, and yeah. what is available right now planned for the field. And whatever that difference is, we're going to structure. I'm, I'm a, I'm a been a banker for 23 years. Right. So you're looking for just investment and, 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 and there's people that are interested in yes. investing. I, I can see that. Yeah, that's totally. a working model that, that, that's, a working that's more viable. Yeah. Because how I understand the finances of the municipalities, they're very tight. <laughs> <laughs> there right? isn't a municipality at all. <laughs> right. and, 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 so, and so what I'm trying to build is something that's a new model is if we have an ongoing business and concern that can pay for itself, that's what I want to bring to be able to partner with the municipality on this. So who, um, because the municipality would own the field. Yeah. So how does that work? Well, there's with parts your... of it. So we, can, we, can will... we just go back? Yeah, go I, I'm a CPA. Great. And so I want to understand, option one is we just re, re yeah. infill and turf yeah. the existing field. Yeah. And the grass field stays as is. Yeah. Now the grass field is big enough for regulation size for 11 aside. It, it is big enough for regulation size. However, the challenge with the grass field is the ability to utilize it. Oh, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about size. Yeah, but, okay. but, but even if we talk about size, right now we cannot have training on, on during the weekdays or stuff because we would ruin the field. That's right. The yeah. nature yeah. of being a grass yeah, field. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not. Yeah. I'm just trying to understand mm -hmm. um, the size so we know. So option one is status quo. Option two, was to artificial it, turf the big field? The big field, and there's uh, option two is a big turf field, and there's two options. Or we do it, let's say this is a small field, and this is the big field, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Option two is doing this type of a field, and, and the, this is a lot the grass field currently. We turf it and eliminate this one, or, or no more turf hill here. The option three is this is a current turf field, we put the big field here. So, so is this a can you add draw that? Can draw a can picture? You draw yeah, I definitely can. Because the main field is way bigger than the turf. Yeah, I'm an engineer and I work also as a designer. Okay, so basically, to make it the right size. But that still doesn't make it regulation size, does it? Current, okay. And this there would need how, to how be How often is the, the current turf able to be used? Every third day? The or? turf? Every day. Every day? We use it no, back no, the back. grass. The, the grass, grass you're talking about. Oh, no, the, the grass. grass, in order to be in use in the winter, it's probably once a week. Once and week. even with that, it becomes right. a mud pit. Yeah. 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 That's, that's a problem with grass. That's, I come from Colombia where we play in grass, and FIFA games, you can only play them in grass. <laughs> but in a country like this, you can't. Yeah. In the weather like this, it's impossible and to the cause. And the kids are on it every day at school. Yeah. The kids yeah, are that's kept But up. they don't have cleats. So. No, they don't have cleats. But they have <laughs> sticks. But they do have sticks. <laughs> so and, oh, but, and in town, um, like my, my kids, grandkids play on a gravel field most of the year. Yeah. Right. And um, North Van is full of gravel. Yeah. 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 So it's terrible. The grass fields are only it's available in yeah. ideal yeah. conditions. So if you look at this picture, turf field, big field. Option one, we turn uh, turfing this, we turfing, we keep everything as is. Option two is either you put the field here, where you replace uh, the existing grass. We make that the artificial turf field. Yes. Yes, or, or the other one is doing it this way. direction. So using what's already using there. Using what's now. already there and leaving this green space. Well, that's right? grass. grass. Well, it's grass, right? Yeah. So again, we're exploring what's feasible, what is okay, not. So baseball. Baseball. That's thank you because the reason we want to also give this because this is the corner of the baseball. Yeah, and, and that's that ideal, grass. so you don't have flying balls going out into the road. Yes. Yeah. And, and does and that leave them enough space for? It will leave them enough space for the baseball. For the, for the baseball, for sure, because yeah. they'll have all this. The the width is enough there. And we wouldn't have a fence or anything in case we wanted to integrate that, like being that part of the, the baseball in at this level is not a big issue. 
So for adult ball, it's for different. adult ball, right? The other thing is that we rarely see baseball players because no, there's no liquor in here versus another yeah, baseball well, yeah, field. Play, play, so that's yeah. just the reality of going. But no, it's, 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 it's the fact. It's, it's true. Yeah. There's, there's it's no big. But yeah. our vision. But little kids, t ball and stuff, could play. On totally. That. But again, our vision of having the turf field, where, whichever location it is, I really don't have a preference, is to be able to make it a multi sport field. So do they when play I see baseball on artificial turf field? I don't know if baseball does. No, I don't think so. But what we would have is the ability no. to uh, field ultimate hockey. field hockey and soccer for the beginning. Yeah. And American football if you want to play. Or rugby. Right? Or rugby, or right? Rugby. So the idea is that we use it, that's why we named the, 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 the sports club it's a, a sports society because that, that's always been the vision, right? And so our ask here is that we're working on additional programs and we're working on this feasibility study and when we have a better picture of what it could be, both from a realistic as well as financially, we will like to bring it to the community to work together. Okay, so timing, will that, I mean, how long is it going to take to do your feasibility Well, study? basically we're in the, in, the, in the midst of this, of it. Hopefully by the end of June, we have an uh, initial document and a strategic roadmap to get there. What I know from the field is that probably we can deal with the field one more season. And in terms of replacement, um, I'm looking at summer 2020. Exactly, okay. so it would be That's, kind of the same timeline okay, where we so, need to... Because to get it, the, uh, if, if the field had, turf had to be redone in August, yeah. then no, no, no. We, September, then it was no, going to, to be. Totally. That's why. Next summer. Next summer. That's next why summer. at the beginning okay. of the year in the general AGM of the club, we brought this plan to the AGM and we said this is a pivotal moment in the history of the club because if we can evolve to the large field, we'll be golden, right? Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we're stuck with 10 more years of what we can provide to the community in soccer, right? That's why. My ask is not to look at this so much as today, is look at the history from the battles that we saw and what it's created to what is possible. And from a financial perspective, I think that we're able to, to deliver in a way that doesn't put financial pressures, right? We've talked, for example, your sister, when she was the manager of the club, we, we talked to the people who did the bubble in North Vancouver. I don't know if you guys have yeah. seen it. Heard about it. Same issue. How are we going to do it? How are we going to play? It paid in half the time that it was planned. The utilization is up the roof, right? Well, they, I, they are driving from a much larger population. And it's a much larger investment, right? right? Yeah. But regarding the, 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 the stories, and I've seen it with project finances, we're only then to find the needs and the utilization. And I see them here because I know I look at Shana because we've worked closely with scheduling the teams in there. I know there's a demand. Like we have the man of players, we have the man of the coed players. Every night it's being used. It's okay. How do we grow in the community that's growing, right? So my ask is hopefully in a couple of months I come and present with some of the VFC what our options are from a, the dump feasibility, and then we can start partnering, saying which way we go and how do we do it together. Have you actually put a business plan together? We're, we're doing, that's what we're doing right now. Okay. Yeah, we've hired someone and we're working on that. My background is in project finance. Initially in my banking career, I put multi-million dollar deals together, dance, sell co-companies, networks, and I can understand the dynamics of this. And uh, what I, as long as we have a positive cash flow, things can be done. Well, that's the role of, of project finance. Yeah. And so that's kind of what I'm looking right now is being able to show the potential that we've done, show, basically even with our numbers, and that's why we're doing some of the summer programs and some of the activities that could happen throughout the year if we had a big field. Now, well, I'm just going to show you. What's, if we decided to just replace the, the field in summer next year, what's the date? What's the final date that you can hire the people to get that job done? Um, well, it would depend on their availability, right, but I that's, think that's, if we so were, in any yeah. yeah, I don't know, I could find that out. Oh, I would, um, based on that, the projects that, that I'm hearing now, well, the, the, 
it kind of March, April to but, yeah. to kind of line no, it up for July. Time. So budget timing. So yeah, I'm not sure, but Sean and I have been having this conversation since two years ago. Probably we started, and uh, last in the last fall, Koi, I no longer coach because my kids are, are older and they, I coach in West Bend, but I started to notice the, the big hole in the middle of the field. Like if you go and step on it, there's a hole, right? Yeah. right? No, we know we need to get and it so, down. And, yeah. so, yeah. and so I know and that's why I brought it to the club. We need to do this, right? Mm -hmm. Because we do see that, that same year window that we need to say like, okay, what are gonna be the decision, a long uh, a decision that's gonna have long-term ramifications. Right, and that's why I want to come here and partner and say, what can we do in the best interest of the community? So looking at that map, and no, we want to be able to the kids to play baseball at school as part of their phys ed or whatever they call it these days, and <laughs> um, and that kind of stuff. So that one one piece has to stay grass, if that's the way it stays. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Or, or does it? Yeah. Or the backstop gets they moved they don't and play we put grass. I know, but we then yeah. we get rid of the little turf and we put grass there and we move the baseball over there. Yeah, but, but that's, but that's the, not very wide. But to to your point, that's what we want to have the field here. Yeah, yeah because the other because we can leave this corner uh, here. Well, and I remember when we built that part of the baseball diamond and expanded because that's the safest corner to have yeah. somebody yeah. Yeah. like oh, my and, son and, and, getting a home run. Right. So, yeah. And yeah, you run the other little point? field is, it's, I don't think it's wide enough to no, do it. No, it's, we, it's we, too we, close we, to the we, road. We've yeah. measured it, we've measured it, and we could do it. Like I said, we, again, the, you guys saw that there's some yeah. trees already were taken down last week in the field. So, we've measured this and we believe it's the right size. Maybe we need to add one or two meters on the other side. But yeah. again, that's part of what we're going to get with but the, the other feasibility. Issue is just the safety of fly balls and, and, yeah. and that sort of stuff. So, that far corner. Mm -hmm. I, I, I totally hear you and yeah. that's exactly yeah. why we're looking at this option yeah. because we, we knew like again yeah. what are we we need to ensure that this is not only about football soccer it needs to be around what are all the future needs of yeah. the community. And okay. I think you've got to have some grass at the school. Don't you? Oh, oh never yeah. mind what never sport they're playing. Yeah. The kids when they're all running around they're going to have they some have grass. The little guys yeah. need grass. But again we not, not like I totally agree but we are blessed with where we're able to send our kids in terms of nature. Like I used oh, to Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Right? They, they just, when they tackle oh, yeah. somebody, they don't get bloody <laughs> noses yeah. and faces from oh, yeah. sliding on the gravel. Yeah, some, some of yeah. the members, again, this is because we, we started exploring. Some people say, why don't we put this into a roller hockey oh, deal no. and stuff oh. like that. Again, <laughs> there's, there's several well, there's ways lacrosse. what we can do. <laughs> What, what I want to make sure is that we, we come with a place that we want to make sure we're able to provide a venue for our community to do sports. That's our end state of what we want to build. And BIFC is a non-profit organization. We're same as you, strapped with the budget, but we're looking and working creatively with all the volunteers and how do we improve the life of the community. This year we're celebrating 10 years, so I'm going to put a little pause here and invite you to Soccer Fest on the 15th. And, and coming because the, the club has given a lot to the community, right? And so we want to keep doing that. So that's kind of my message and open to more questions in that all. Well, Julie, that actually sounds pretty exciting. Right? That uh, on the surface, that it, it seems to be something to strive towards and it would be really yeah. good. But it does come down to money. Totally. And so the sooner, I mean, just to get, I mean, if we've got school board, we got muni and uh, private investors. Um, that takes time to sort of work that out. So uh, we don't have a great deal of time. That's that's where I'm, no. I'm thinking that's going to Th be that, the that issue. is that is totally. That's why I've engaged Shauna since two years ago, and I saw this coming, and that's why I said to the board, we need to put money aside for this feasibility okay. because it's not Julian who's going to be out there talking. It needs to be. A professional report doing a deep dive on the cost, doing a deep dive on the potential revenue streams, and having a roadmap of how could we build that, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And again, it means stakeholdering with provincial government for grants, stakeholdering with the school board, stakeholdering here with the municipality, and say, okay, how are we going to put this all together, right? And I think a year's time, like I, we've already kind of estimated it will probably take us three months to build either or. No. Yeah, so Whistler, just for context, Whistler um, just built a brand new full-size turf field, 
and I spoke with their director of parks and their project for the full-size turf was just under $700,000. Really? That's a lovely figure. Oh, that's, 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 that's way more than that. Yeah, I was thinking it would be more than so, that. So, so for me, that's something that I, I know there's, a, for example, because I, I've always worked with the gaming grant, when we get a little bit of money from the gaming grant, I know that there's $200,000 mm -hmm. out there from the uh, grant department for a capital investment. Right, and yeah, this would perfectly fit. Right, it's, o it's open right now. It's open, you know right? That? But I need to have the whole feasibility to say we're going to apply that. Right, so there's two hundred thousand. I know the school board is willing to raise money. They are. I, that's what I heard from West Bank when they with this <laughs> turf field that we're doing. Apparently, they provided some money. Again, for this field. For no. the for the one that. Uh, oh, that in uh, West Bank. The one West that West Bank. Oh, they were right? going to build a Hugo Ray. Yes. They're building at West Bank High. So anyway, well, I know there's yeah, money, that's, that's what I was told, and I, I'll, I'll explore and validate that with you guys. I'd be surprised. Right. <laughs> anyway, that's, and, and then like I said, hopefully there's the, the money that was committed, what is our cost of staying status quo? And then I could figure out that probably of the 700, which is a lovely figure, half of it we raised it and half of it we get through investments, right? Yeah. And again, this is just back of the envelope. But, yeah, yeah, but, no, I, I, but, I, I but get this that. Is what we're starting. And you may have somebody who's just quite willing to donate some money. Well, we're, 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 we're going I, I don't know. We're going to go to the community center first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't want, well, they they don't want to go into too many of the people with no, money. Totally. And, 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 <laughs> and, 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 and I know, and I know Shauna has worked, and all of you have worked very hard on this. I'm a, I believe, and this is a bigger philosophical conversation, but I believe in creating human capital, but it doesn't have to be always giveaways, right? I yeah. know there's a lot of people out there yeah. with money that are willing to say, Julian, I see your vision. Julian, I see how this can generate money. Look, I'm willing to put this. I know it's a risky investment, but it's an investment on the community, right? And it's, I think, more attractive to people with money being, hey, I'm going to yeah, give and I'm going to get it back, some type of return, versus there's, there's giving a, my money away. There's another way to skin that cap too, that's yeah. still an investment, but it's also tax favor. Totally. So, yeah, no, that's, I, that's kind of my plan. We're, we're running fast with this, like I said, hopefully the <laughs> first, the first, uh, the first snap of the feasibility, the club will have it at the end of June, early July. And from them, we're going to start saying, okay, what's our plan? We're looking to working closely with Shauna on some of the inputs on this and how we work together. Like I say, our, our whole interest is to making it the right thing for the community. Yeah, no, that, that sounds good. And you, you seem like a pretty good guy to spearhead this. You've got yeah. enthusiasm, you've got some background, and, and you obviously have a love of the sport. So I, I, I think that's so. Um, so just one more. So pre-thinking any of the questions that might get raised by council or raised by the school board trustees, what are the downsides? Are I, there any groups that would? I personally don't see downside. I think that there may be a little bit of a backlash again on yeah. the environmental I'm issues. The more of um, people who might say, well. If you do that, then we can't have this activity and that activity here. Well, I we would have to contact. We'd have to be in touch with people who are currently using the field. So yeah. IPS, yeah. for example, uses it for ultimate. So I'm not sure yeah. if they would want to be. Um, that would be a conversation with them um, yeah. in terms of and the turf. But it, and primary well, and more what the school board uses it for. The school board yeah. usually, yeah. So track and field, sports day. Mm -hmm. they would have to in sports, sports day, day yeah. things like that. But, but that's a one day. But that's a one but day could be done on the You could do that, all of that could be done on the All of that could be done on the turf field. And, and, and the objective is to is use that same space for the what it's being used for plus more. Because the reality of grass is that it just get turned out. Yeah, no, all I'm saying is is there some things that it's being used for now that if you made it turf would not be able to be done. Ultimate? And no ultimate, you can play it on I turf. Can play. I think it's preferred. It's preferred. Turf. Like yeah. this is especially the grass field. The grass field's not. The grass field is. It's not smooth. <laughs> it's beautiful it's in the summer. 
the you grass know. field. <laughs> the grass field. I, I don't know if you remember uh, a summer ago or spring ago that you could see the undulations yeah. that are caused yeah. by the amount of snow. Yeah. Right. But the other thing to think about too is that we spend X amount of dollars on maintaining the grass field yeah. over here, yeah. so, yeah. That, so would that, that would be decreased. That would be decreased. That would actually yeah. not be. We wouldn't maintain that little grass piece. The way the we same. do the totally. field, because yeah, you wouldn't would need, need to um, have it to playable field and then condition. Not yeah, I think that falls in, I mean, costs, we have to see the costs yeah. totally. to, see, to see that. It, it sounds good. We are running out of time. I think you've yeah. done an excellent job. It's a wonderful presentation. Thank you very much yeah. for coming. Um, you've got a supporter in, in myself. Uh, if, I, if I can see numbers that justify it, then totally. I could be uh, quite enthusiastic. You're talking to a really. banker, and, and that's kind yeah. of what we need to show. And it's around, I think that the Kevin Costner movie around yeah. Gilded and They Will Come. That's, <laughs> that's, that's why. And, and this, well, this is not about the big deal. Well, that's what I want to say. This yeah. is what the, 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 the little, the, the, mm -hmm. all, the, all of you, and I'm looking at Shauna as one of the leads of this wonderful project. This is what it's giving to the community, mm -hmm. right? The amount of friendships, the, the people that meet out there, and we're just looking to say what more can we be right now with where the community is going. They were out there playing with mm -hmm. freaking freezing cold. Of course. I played a final with are. snow. Yeah. yeah. Right? Who, who has it? And, <laughs> and, and I've heard. <laughs> And, and, I, and, and then I've heard, I've heard, I've heard from long-time Islanders that in the past there was no other venue for the youth or for anybody to do something of, of, of yeah. athleticism, right? And so that's why, that's why where my passion comes. But anyway, I won't take more time. And okay. Shauna, I know that we'll probably be talking more. And I'm meeting with Morgan tomorrow. Yeah, he, yeah. he just so. So again, we'll, we'll, I love that 700,000 figure because that's something that I was looking for. Oh, that would be nice if that So nice. why? You, yeah. Keep, keep I will teach everybody a prize. Yeah. Okay, that's, 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 so yeah, yeah. I will have my own research <clears throat> to do in together. terms of infill the, and um, contract. Love it if we can take that up on. And, and I have a list here. A, a little, a little okay, something nice. I forgot to mention. The also the thing about, re, there's, there's other costs that I'm not sure included in the 700,000. But we could use the four lights that are currently in the small field and probably only add two more. So there's ways to start yeah. already leveraging what we have. The yeah. six pole lighting is four hundred and fifty thousand yeah. dollars. On top of that seven hundred. So yeah. we've already got four of those yeah. lights. So um, so, so there's some again. So you we, couldn't play. You couldn't have two the four corners lit and be in the dark in the middle. We, we <laughs> could, the middle that, doesn't count. Again, again, maybe, maybe, maybe with the four lights we can uh, we can uh, light in the whole field. They have I don't know. We, we, we shall see. We shall see. But anyway, I will thank, 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 thank you guys. To, to that, I just have a quick question sure. too, because when you put the lights up in, in, initially with the smaller field. Um, the people who played tennis had asked if there was a way to have the lights also shine on the tennis courts, and for some reason, they were not able to do that. Yeah, that was through the contract. But you know what? This is it's, it's, shift it's, it's, because. But this is basically having sh lights on the other side, and I think that's a great idea. That with the second plan, we could boil but, into because this around building this is not about soccer that's mm -hmm. right so this is a good point if we build it this way can we light the tennis field yeah. and can we have a great question yeah. so good we question. should look at yeah, thank, thank you yeah. no. thank yeah. you and hopefully we'll keep it okay well, thanks, thanks, thanks very much okay okay that that, that was good I was, I, honestly to get muni school board and private money together in 10 months the football club is pretty amazing. Yeah. Well, yeah. The, the, I, I'm, I'm hoping. Well, they are. They, they <laughs> did hoping. that with the little one. Yeah. They are, they yeah. are very well determined and yeah. very, yeah. very well They're very good. Yeah. 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 I wouldn't cut great. them up for anything. So, so that's, that's that's fine. Big, anyway, okay, that's fine. Great, great idea. I, I think everybody's probably in favor of going ahead on this one, at least looking at the mm -hmm. options of uh, doing that. Yeah. And so oh, yeah. I think that's I think oh, would be wonderful. Okay. Yeah. Um, grass hockey. Yeah. yeah. Okay. On to the next thing. Updates of okay, recreation it's programmers field report. Yeah, field hockey. Sorry. <laughs> you don't play on grass anymore. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, so you guys have got the programming report. I'm gonna um, hit a couple of highlights that I think are really important. But please have a read through the rest of it. 
Um, we had five grants from the British Columbia Recreation and Parks Association that supported after school programs uh, through the spring. So Power of Play, Drama in the Park, Lead Like a Girl, Inspiring Art and Drawing the Wonders of Nature. Oh dear. <laughs> um, so, and those were supported by a grant and we were able to charge between six and eight dollars per class to participants for that. Um, and they were 80 to 100 percent full, so and providing after-school programming. Thinking of giving them acknowledgement and letting the community know, say, if, like a future report said how much we actually got in dollars and grants. Okay, that would be helpful. And also the average cost of the programs and how many people were actually enrolled in this program. Because to me, having the program, you know, yeah, I it's, mean, it's really is useful it, to is say. Is it break even? Do we make a buck or two? You know? Well, not even that, but are we, you know, are we servicing 10 kids or 500 kids? You know? Well, that's a different question, but, but that's first right, off, we want to figure out how many kids were enrolled yeah. in the yeah. programs and, you know, and how many I mean, I, I, I don't yeah. mind this subsidizing programs that, uh, you know, really help a lot, yeah. but in the yeah. perfect world, we make a buck or two. We, yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> <laughs> the answer to that is 10 kids per program, and yes. Okay. We covered costs. And how many dollars did we get? <laughs> it was about a thousand dollars. But you per... are going to make meetings much longer. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just going to lay out the well, format. Well, okay, so I get all the to the end of We do want to move. We've got to, yeah. we've got to be yeah. out of here quarter after six. So, so preparations for community. We're all going to the four square. Please. Four square championship tournament um, is this Saturday. Foursquare has been a huge game, outside playground game that they have been playing oh since God, September um, at VIX. And we got a $910 <laughs> grant from Participation. <laughs> and currently we have, I think, 27 people um, signed up for this Foursquare Championship, which is going to happen in the gym on Saturday night from 6 till 8. It is for all ages. So adults can play, kids can play, it's not too late to sign up. We were reading the rules, I couldn't figure out what it meant. Four square and four square. Just go to mix at recess or lunch and you will be taught how to play. <laughs> All right. It's a big deal. So participation gave us that money to pull so that when, together. When this it's on Saturday night from 6 till 8. Oh, can I wow. import my granddaughter and send her? Absolutely. Um, the big success story of fall and winter at REC was evening adult sports. Hmm. And for all I could do for the eight years that I was programming, we could not get adult sports going. Hmm. And in the last two years, they have really increased. So I don't know if that's a change in population. I don't know if people what's, are looking for more things like, to do. What are the, the Pickleball, things? badminton, basketball, volleyball's not quite picked up yet. Um, yeah, those three in particular. Pickleball is, is a big that one. the new one. Yeah. Pickleball. Pickleball is the new Volleyball one. Volleyball and badminton have been around for years. Yeah, but pickleball is the new one. And big. soccer, indoor yeah. soccer. No, uh, uh, volleyball is a little because you wreck your fingers. Right? And, and you Can you wear pants? Yeah. Volleyball. <laughs> you have to wear long sleeves. Yeah. Yes. Um, and I also just want to make mention that we have been uh, rethink and glacier meet or well, rethink. Um, who did the municipality branding, uh, has been producing, designing the recreation brochure for the last two or three years, pro bono. And this fall and winter is gonna be the last one. Um, it's retiring. Yeah. Yes, so thank you to Rethink is basically where I'm going with that. We're gonna bring the design in-house um, moving forward. They are gonna supply us with uh, really um, the all the templates and we're gonna try it in-house for next spring and summer. So they will be doing our fall and winter one, um, one more time. Um, we have hired five summer students. Uh, it was like pulling teeth to find staff. Really? This year. Uh, we finally have a full staff complement and um, we were awarded two green jobs through the Canadian Parks and Rec Association. So those Two grants will pay um, for half of the two of the five's wages hmm. for the summer. So that is um, an extra money that we were awarded, which is good news for us. 
and we also got a um, HRBC uh, summer student grant, which pays five dollars of the seventeen dollars that we pay per hour. Um, so you paid seventeen dollars, and you had trouble hiring people. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, what, was the, what was the issue? Do you think? Uh, what I'm understanding is that they don't want to work full time. Where's exactly. reality? Hmm. Yeah. Does that, did you, do you have a swim instructor? Yes. Does that include a swim instructor? Yes, we have a swim instructor. So that's six. That's an, that's an extra. So Excellent. we have five who are working in the day camps. And, um, and a, sw a swim, swim instructor. instructor. Okay, good. Good. Yeah. And two part time play care assistants. Mm. Uh, we did our leaders in training program. So just flipping over to the youth leaders in training, had over 20 participants. That happened last Thursday. Um, Jeff Willis has been here, he comes over almost every year with Creative Toolbox and he does a lot of facilitation around youth and um, teaching them games and training and how, how, they, may, how they might show up in volunteering with uh, day camps. Um, we ask that the LITs do one or two weeks of volunteering in the summer um, with the day camps and yeah, he was very impressed actually with our with our staff and and volunteers. What age do they have to be? They have to be twelve. So twelve to 10. twelve to fifteen. Twelve to usually we get 12, 13, 14 year olds, and then yeah. those guys get jobs. Yeah. Um, May and June for youth, uh, we've got a painting class set up, another airbrushing cl class, and kinball. And John has some a skate day, which will happen out at the fire hall um, out west on, uh, oh, I want to say June 15th. Might be June 15th. That's a Saturday. Yes. Um, Julian, is that, I don't know, is there a call for roller hockey? Like on, on we the, used to have roller hockey in the gym. Yeah. Um, and it was a really popular yeah. program. It doesn't seem to have been picked up again because those kids kind of aged out right. um, and we haven't offered it in a little bit. We do offer floor hockey for the six and seven year olds and that's very popular. See this is the issue I have with, to go back to the field, maybe to go backwards, but it, it's my experience in Bowen, things come in waves mm -hmm. and so uh, that was just my, uh, it's sort of a bigger question, but you know you as, as a in your department, you just continually are shifting. As yes. you know, this is really popular. You address it; it fades out. You put something else in. Yeah. But I would think, in terms of how much money we would support, in terms of sinking money into a bigger field, keep in mind that over those ten years, it's not guaranteed that it's going to continue to grow. Not the so not the soccer necessarily, but there are all those other sports yeah. that haven't. Okay. That field hockey's never. Had a place to happen here, and I think they'd be. So I should be interested. Yeah, no, it's a good point. Having, you know, both I thought about that too when it was going space. on, you know, and yeah. thinking, well, yeah, it's been great, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's, it's going to keep going. But soccer's got football's got such a big force behind it for the whole country. Yeah. yeah, you know, the the girls are doing amazing in the at the world level, and then even the men are inching their way up and so there's a lot of interest in oh I'm, I'm totally for the seal it's yes. just sort of this idea that yeah no i get it well, that's well, well and i have a question too regarding the field because it seemed to me when we got the thing it didn't time out like it, it would be an indefinite field and now it needs no, to be no 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 oh, it was so, always no, it we always knew had we got it. it we would have to return the, 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 the fail and the turf on yeah. top yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. so what does it mean totally redoing it no it just means uh, it's all, all that concrete yeah. all the fencing all the lighting that's can all stay it's just peeling back what's there it's like changing your mattress shoveling out the stuff in the underneath i think we'll sort of table that up for the park we will be discussing that for sure at the the next meetings and uh, yeah. there's way more questions than answers at this point but uh, keep those keep those things in mind those are mm -hmm. great points to bring up and uh, you want to do that so. um, and I guess just to address field hockey um, we did partner with West Van Field Hockey Club and the seven and eight year olds I believe with had a program tennis. yeah yeah had a program um, over the here uh, over well, actually, it was co-ed, but only boys signed up. Oh, okay. Oh, can do uh, <laughs> <laughs> we uh, can do cricket, too. Uh, if we have days. <laughs> My son I, played cricket in Louisiana at the field. Uh, Hugo Ray. Yeah, that's uh, where the cricket field is. 
And just one thing I wanted to mention with uh, our youth services coordinator, he's working with the Community Foundation. They had some grant or donation um, to develop a program and kind of a system to address youth at risk specifically with regard to substance abuse. So what is available through their funding is um, access to counselors. Mm. So if, um, if, if somebody is aware of a youth or family member um, who are having issues with substance abuse or the youth is having the issues and the family needs counseling around that or support, the Community Foundation has a grant or has money to be able to support um, those people accessing services. Oh, How can we get that word out? Mm -hmm. Well, it would be up to the Community Foundation a little so, bit at this they're just point, launching. and they're just launching it. So um, I don't know if they've promoted it yet uh, or where they're at. Uh, they've partnered with the municipality to and run the, the funding circle. and the caring circle to run the funding through yeah. here. Um, but uh, that's just just kind of information right now is that and John Stiver, the youth services coordinator, will be, has been working with them to pull that. Part. And in that same line, there's an article in the Undercurrent. Um, there's a group at UBC that's doing a study on health services for rural communities. Mm -hmm. And if you go to the online edition of the Undercurrent or onto the medical the health center foundation's website, there's a link. But I think it behooves all of us to fill that survey in and say what kind of services. And of course, the mental health and addiction one was one I put on. <laughs> Usually, the people that fill out the surveys aren't the people that need to No, but what? Well, <laughs> but you know, yeah. some trauma know, something care when, you're, yeah. when you can't breathe and yeah. you have to get on the water taxi in the middle of the night. Yeah. <laughs> but, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's kind of it for updates from me. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so new business. I was just going to bring up something, and uh, uh, I was alluding to it earlier on with the um, just the makeup of this committee is primarily recreation, and that's that's really what it is. But um, we may, hopefully, probably, don't know, get a community center, and uh, if we do, then this the whole committee itself will sort of change a little bit. Uh, most community center um, things are sort of broken into two different areas, like a facilities committee and a program committee. We don't have any facilities, so we just really talk about the programs most of the time. So, um, but just to, and there's no no real rush on this, but it is something that I think um, we have to start thinking about um, as far as um, what do we have here. So, this is our mandate. Okay, perfect. This is, thank this you. is, we have to sort of look at this. This is wonderful. Thank you for doing this also. Um, recreation and community service. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah but the one who pushed the community nice. services isn't here anymore. <laughs> well, well, I'm back. <laughs> no, it wasn't you, it was It's not necessarily. It community. I do a lot of yeah, that's fair. I mean, the nice thing is being sort of like a, a, we don't have to deal with any of the sort of tougher issues such as housing or health care or any of those really messy issues. So we're just really interested, or we should be, in my mind, interested in trying to bring people together to promote community through recreation, whether that is uh, physical recreation or. Uh, you know, sort of club organization or something like that, but uh, um, it is something we should start thinking about. Do we um, have a, um, a mission statement? Um, I thought we worked on one. one point. Feel like we did. We did a lot of that kind of stuff around the community recreation plan. Yeah. Um, so it might be good to kind of revisit that and the recommendations. So when we looked at the work plan a few a couple of years ago, those a lot of the recommendations that came out of that plan are program program related and the staff is kind of taking Here we go. We have a mission things. statement. All right. Yes. 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 I knew we did. Through community involvement, Bone Island Community Recreation provides and promotes diverse opportunities to inspire healthy lifestyles, personal growth, and the fulfillment of community potential. Well, except it, it says it does. Is that what it is? It says it does? 
Pro it provides and promotes diverse mm -hmm. opportunities. I, I'm not sure provides is the pro correct word, but promotes, I think, is good and, and certainly strives What do you mean it doesn't provide? Attain. Well, we don't have a community issue. center. Oh, but, but they, no, the but stuff that the girls provide w without a community center is freaking amazing. No, we're talking Absolutely. about the commission <laughs> itself. The commission itself. Yeah. This group of people. Okay, so this is, this is that was the community <coughs> recognition. No, but commission. we're, we're responsible. Like in terms of the commission, it might be something that is worth talking about and talking about priorities. I think um, <coughs> when we move towards that community center, um, and the facilities the commission, or there will be governance. Committee will be totally different. There will be governance yeah. around that. Uh, that it's not going to be this group. Sure. It's going to be a lot of arts people in the facilities committee. Oh, that, right? that so aspect. It's, it's going to be totally different yeah. than what this group has done for yeah. how many well, years it's been doing it for. And if exactly. you look at the but that's second not what page, we're, that's what we're here. but the here. second page no. of this says why we're here. 7.1, which is to provide advice and recommendations to council and staff on planning, development, and implementation of the community <coughs> recreation master plan and the parks master plan. Hmm. Yeah, okay. this is the old parks and rec establishment by now, right? <coughs> well, that's what you printed. But well, that's the only one I've ever been able to find. So, since the name of the committee changed, this is done in 2013, BIM bylaw number 346, 2013. Yeah. Parks and Recreation. But being a bylaw to establish the Bowman yeah, Recreation right. Community Service. Because we had to do it that way because the letters patent set, um, it set us up. Well, we, yeah. yeah. We and had to change it. We, ch we changed some of the terms, but we had to leave it as a commission. I just Don't get into the text. This is the current one. <laughs> <laughs> If, I but understand. I just offline need to. I need to figure stuff like that out. So yeah, no. that offline. Because what we were working on before was the old one that was we inherited from GBRD. Mm -hmm. So we created our own. Right. Yeah. But but that's. So community recreation facilities and services, capital and special projects, planning and scheduling of active recreation. Tennis courts. You got tennis courts in there, Pam. Yes, yeah, these tennis courts and fields. And fields. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So seven point five is actually a, a good, a good, a good statement there. That's the one year. Yeah. 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 That one. That one would be uh, uh, probably a bit more um, purposeful uh, than the others. So. Um, because we can't provide advice. I mean, we we, we want people. We can't provide advice without the public coming. You know, without us exploring possibilities and discussing with the public. Right. We, Similar to what not, we did tonight. With, right. Which is that's right. excellent. And, and the same with Sam Nozick when getting yes. that thing. That was that's that's fabulous. The bike that's, park. That's the sort of thing we're going to do. As far as the facilities, what I'd, I'd like to see is exactly what facilities we have. You see, I don't know what exactly we have access to, the, the spinning classes, the different areas. And you know, so what we want to be able How to do... How long have you been a member of this commission and you don't know that already? Oh, one year. <laughs> yeah, well, there's, 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 the, you're uh, going to get out there, boy. <laughs> there's space, Craig, and there's the programs that, that run in the space. So. That's correct. And so what I what I I'd like to see is a, a list of the spaces that are there and how much time we have to, to utilize them. For I, what hopefully we could do is to um, now you're talking about existing now or existing what? now. See what see what we what we have now. How we can make it better. What facilities are required so that we can move on, like with the community center, I mean, um, we're not going to get a lot of facilities if we get this community center, but it's a great start and it's, it's always something, but we want to be able to identify areas that maybe we can push for in the future. So, but um, I, don't, I, don't, I think what we've done I think in the past past is, is uh, <laughs> Shauna comes and talks about programs and, and those very issues about, you know, we have so many people trying to use this room and we can't, you know, accommodate them all and what mm -hmm. about this space and we talked about things like outdoor spaces and various parks around the island that were being underutilized, maybe we could send some groups there rather than all 
trying to squeeze themselves around the cove. And so I think we're sort of been doing that on an ad hoc as, you know, the recreation department comes to us and says, here's how it's going, here's where we're, th we're bottlenecking, here's where we've had some empty space. Yeah. And then as a group, we've done some you know, it sounds good. I just haven't seen that. Yeah, in the survey there was brainstorming. Right? That's the word. And in the survey there's and then information on what is used back to the department or to the. I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. Mm -hmm. I, I can't hear you. Or, or to, or to council. But that's sort of we've done it as a, I guess, ad hoc. Sorry. I think it has sort of shifted a little bit to project based. Um, recently, mm -hmm. we talked a lot about disc golf, and now it would now we'll be talking about the turf field talked a lot about the bike park and, and the community center so and having this commission as yep. but I guess maybe it is you know to put out to the table is how how do you see your role how do you um, well this is the role that comes this is the role so yeah is there uh, maybe we should so, just talk about everybody happy with that as well. I thought that's what we were doing yeah yeah, um, yeah I, I, I so I mean, our responsibility to report annually to the public and the council. Like, what is that? What do we do? That's the work. Like, <laughs> well, the how work do we do that? What we're going to do, and we have done. And then so, how, how, how do we do that? Did someone go to council and speak? Here, the work yes. plan that we approved at the last council, at the last committee meeting here, commission meeting, was on a, an information item at council, and Shauna reported. On it, which that's our on table item at the council strategic plan. Okay. As to where we were at in, in implementing this. Okay. And then there's a, an so annual sure. report yes. done to the community of what we do. So maybe you should run your draft of your annual report by us before you yes, see that's if that's right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. When is the deadline for your submission for that? The annual report? It's supposed to be done by June 30th. I haven't heard yet. <laughs> I was going to ask today, but I didn't want to ruin Kathy's day even more. Probably not going to happen by June 30th. Yeah. 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 So and that could be something that comes yes. across this. And I've mentioned, the only thing that I don't see here, and I've mentioned it before, and it's, it's, oh, it's the old days of the GBRD, when we had we had information on the budget, and I'd still like to see some numbers of what what you have available to you to do things. Like we don't know at all, and so sometimes when you come to us and say, "What should we do?" or like, we have no idea what's available or or, or what's ridiculous. So I'd like to see some numbers. So and you've, you've okay. got a budget, yeah, for the department. Yeah, yeah, and so we used to see it when we, when it was yeah, GRT, we, we went over approve, it line by line, which is crazy. Submission. But we don't no, need to do yeah. that. But it would it'd be nice to see a generalized budget of the programming of the pro of what you have, what that maybe in maybe I don't know how it all works. It used to work, you know, you have this much money. Yeah. What are you going to spend that money on? Right. Yeah. We don't we don't have any of that now. Right. So so you guys are doing it, which is fine, but it would be nice to know. So if one of us has a brilliant idea when we're sleeping at night, we can go to you and say, hey, I know there's a little bit of this pot of money there. Do you think we could do this? Right? Like even me, who works in, I work in the, in the waiting room, and I know I need equipment, but I think, oh, I can't ask for any equipment. We don't have any money. <laughs> But we do. But you do. Yeah, so yes. it'd be kind of, it'd just be kind of nice for all of us to know a little bit more about the inner workings. Uh, just to, so we can yeah. guide. Can, and yeah, can I, advise. I, I agree. And the, and the same thing, it just goes down with the programs themselves. How much do they cost to run? How much do we make? Do we make, do we break even? Do we make money? Like, and if we do make money, where, 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 what are we going to do with them? Well, I think, yeah, what you need to explain, I think, and it, I know it happens, you know, an adult program, good chance it's going to make money. Right. But then the preschool program isn't going to make money. Absolutely. So that adult program subsidizes the preschool program. So if you can show mm -hmm. some of that, how that all works, just, and I don't, I know you've got so much on your plate. But just so it doesn't have to be. Yeah. <laughs> 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 can you get into the website? Yep. On that thing? It doesn't have to be totally. Finance? You know, line by line, um, just a little bit of a, a further explanation. 
okay. and how it all Finance. comes together. Does that not track the by the office? Like, you know, who they? Perfect. Like the office, the programmers. Yeah. Do they, could they run that report? They can. They yeah. can report. Yeah. 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 I think yeah. Hang on. Hang on. Go back. Let me just but it would be nice just for us to see, in a sense, to see which programs do make money. Sure. And, and if they make a lot of money, then that's, that's where you maybe want to expand, right? It just gives direction to people. I, you know, there's various segments of uh, the island that I know nothing about that uh, would be impeccable. Right? Who knew? Right. So, Who knew? This, this is not exactly fitting with what I thought my role here was. So just to throw a total wrench in the machinery, I'm leaving out right. 10 minutes. All right. And so, Let's do it. <laughs> I, I thought we were more big picture and things like how much a particular program costs and what's subsidized. I thought that was... Just it's operational. operational. Operational, and that we get a, a report every time we meet mm -hmm. from Shia, and she gives us the highlights, but not the specifics. And we were supposed to, I thought when I came on board, yeah. that we were supposed to be more thinking big picture and, you know, uh, coming up with ideas. And, and also, I do want to put in a, a my idea coming here right. too, was much more on the community side than on the actual nuts and bolts of recreation department. Mm -hmm. So it's a concern to me to hear that we're going to focus on the, was not my interest coming in? Because I thought we were, you know, I have, you guys are doing so great. And, you know, I sort of trust that she's going to come to us as things come up. And I don't want, I'm totally with you. I, okay. I don't want to stick my finger in the operation. I just want some background. That's because how can we think big picture if we don't know what the little picture is getting in the background? That's right. Fair enough. Fair so enough. That's, I'm just asking for yeah. two things. One is, it, let's not get too subsumed by detail mm -hmm. yeah. in terms of the operational works of the rec department. Mm -hmm. and, and they are doing a great job. I also like to put, just from my point of view, a plug-in for the community side of things. This is not, the commission was not meant just to oversee the recreation department as far as, you know, whoever it was, I can't remember who. It was me in, but you yeah. know, and my understanding was that you know, uh, that we were supposed to be looking at the community with the recreation department being a big part of it, but the idea of finding other ways to uh, encourage the community to do things together and get out and be a healthy community together, and that's very hard to do because it's <coughs> general, you know, it's not like a specific you know, this sport on this day for so many weeks, you know, so it's, it's a lot harder to do. Yeah. But I would hate to see that aspect of this commission. I don't think anybody wants that. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's easier, it's obviously way easier to focus on the soccer pitch and the, yeah. you know, it's easy, yeah. it's a thing. Yeah, that's Where, like you say, your thing is, the community it's, services, it's, capital and special. It's so projects. nebulous. There's, it's so you know, nebulous, but again, if we knew what the money was in, around, then we could say, oh, you know, let's do a field trip for the seniors because we yeah. know they love those, right? Things like that. It, it gives okay. you that opportunity to to expand your, the vision a bit. Perfect. Yeah. And I think there's some things that have started in the community that started here was the way of getting the money and getting the program going, like I'm thinking of the community lunch program. Mm -hmm. We got some money for that and then the Caring Circle executed it. Mm -hmm. So we saw that there was some seniors outreach and they were getting out and they were having a conversation and they weren't just stuck in their houses and and so they were getting out and having a meal and talking with people and yeah. so some of the, those things there's the budget I guess that that's is, an excellent example that's that part of that's the, exactly yeah. the yeah. Sort of and that's kind of the role of community recreation too is to kind of help those groups yeah. get going um, like initially we were helping them with the soccer initially we helped with we did all the gymnastics uh, but as those clubs grow and take on their own entity, yeah, the gymnastics. That's great, right? Yeah, they, the they, they, is you know, you kind of do that that initial. Let's get it started, and then the club can can yeah. take that on. But um, I and I love things like the state park. That was a community group who, you know, they did the work and they got the energy going. But the bike you know, park, yeah. the bike park, the bike, yeah, the bike park, yeah. 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 and uh, you know. Uh, what, what we did, we, we just supported, yeah. and you know, yeah. that's the sort of stuff I really love to see. So I think with the new community centers, there's probably yeah. some other programming and community service related 
that we can start thinking about because mm -hmm. we will have space where we can do it. Yeah. Yes. Right. Which we haven't had. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and, and just for me, just bringing this up, number one is because I, I don't have the experience that some of you have, so I have really no idea. But this is this is long term. If we do get the community center exactly as Allison says, all of a sudden there's going to be new opportunities, and you kind of want to just have be aware that yeah maybe maybe the role should should increase and we might be able to reach out to more um, sectors of the community that are perhaps underserved if if, if identified. So yeah. um, that's it. So I mean I don't have too many problems. It's nice that we have a mission statement. I didn't know we had a mission statement, so that that makes me feel uh, feel good. But uh, and I guess just I would put it out there too. If you're if you are aware in the community of um, of marginalized people or people who need more services or something and there's something that you want to bring forward that that um, for Correct. community services yeah. or recreation I, I think that's what let me know and then we can kind of work around mm -hmm. programming and mm -hmm. whatnot as needs arise so that's but we may not always know what those identified needs well, are. So. That's exactly what 7.5 says, to yeah. broadly represent the recreation and, and service needs. Yeah, that's, that's the importance. So, that's, uh, yeah. The rest of it's all nice, but I'm that's really... I'm the conduit to council. You guys are the ones feeding the ideas yeah. into... Yeah, we don't, and we don't want to do any of the messy stuff with the money. That, that's council. No, yeah. no, we just no, because no. <laughs> if we think there's really things that need to be done, and it's not, we're there to help support Shauna in getting the money through the budget process. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we are totally, Shauna is, and the staff are doing their jobs and we are not going to stick our fingers in there. Well, I have so much respect for everything they do. Like, you guys rock, you're great. Uh, oh, you guys yeah. Now, in the old yeah. days, we had to flip hot dogs and yeah. things like that. And, oh, and oh, yeah. We, we used to, to have a Christmas. More stuff. <laughs> Yes, yeah. we've had that yeah. too. <laughs> Flipped my share of pancakes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's, we'll, we'll call that quits. I just wanted to bring that up and bring it to people's attention Great. and then get a discussion going. The rest is the island plan and the bylaw. The, 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 this is the just for the information. information. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, so you don't want to say any more. So the next thing we're looking at is the next date then. I think we sent them. Didn't you send something out? No, that would be one of the other committees. <laughs> 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 Come on, keep it straight. I get too many emails from her. Yeah, I think the discussion was September. September. Yeah, and was to feel when there's a need, right? Yeah. Well, I think the timing well, of four times. Uh, this is the foot. This yeah. thing yeah. is going to be. Yeah. yeah. If he's got something we'll to show us, then we'll schedule. We need a meeting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I would have say we should do one for September. Yeah, and then. If it comes forward and there's something that we should meet, then maybe we should have a supplement. We can have a special meeting. Yeah. Special no, meeting. I think also if he was we're talking about the end of June. Because I, I think, you know, to give him as much uh, time, we I think we want to meet on a timely basis. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So uh, we don't yeah, want to be I, I would prefer to set something in yeah, September is in a good month for myself, uh, the, the <laughs> vice chair. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 the power then. When <laughs> <laughs> are you here in September? Let's start at that. Well, one. I am up until um, about the thirteenth. So, yeah, well, but it gets it's busy it's in the first week of September. Uh, oh, so you're saying you have one Wednesday. Wednesday. So we're saying one Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday. Yes. <laughs> and we'll pull. I How mean, I September we're doing a lot of my training here, but I thought we were going to just wait till that time. Yeah, I think we should wait a little bit because and I we like don't really know what we're doing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. the yeah. rest yeah. of us have to wait. No, no, seriously, <laughs> September is a good time because we are going to yeah. do our strategic planning council session earlier yeah. this year. They're going to get in, into budget. They get requests to start putting the budget together. And well, we we won't know about the grant for the community center. No, but but, it, but it, that is good timing to start feeding. In. Yeah. How about so September that, 11th? That's what September I September 11th. Okay, it's one of those ominous dates mm -hmm. in, in yeah. history. But uh, September 11th, five o'clock. That's a Wednesday. Yes, it's yes. the second Wednesday of the month. When is the date for adjourning about the grant? I think it's going to be September of the election. Oh really? Shawnee, you don't know if that date works for you. That's okay, I'll look later. 
Oh, and then I just put the period. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 then you don't get off. Are you adjourning the meeting? Yes, uh, <laughs> if there's any, anybody has anything yeah, to say, otherwise I will yeah. adjourn the meeting. And it's running five minutes late. Bye, right. Shana. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Shana. Yeah, thank you all for coming tonight. This is uh, well, actually a pretty good, pretty good attendance. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> we'll Noah back We're just on. missing Noah, right? Pam, yeah. did you meet our new members? No. Well, you, I, I mean, no, I haven't met I'm you. Mimi. I know you. You are? Mimi. Mimi. Yes. Okay. I just I looked for you in here and I didn't see you. That's because yeah, that's that first meeting. Oh, meeting. So, so, okay. Yeah. 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 And Allison, you were at the last meeting. I, guess. I was at here at the last one. You were not. I here. was here. You were here. Yeah. yeah. Well, right. I missed last one. Uh, I, I you were here. remember the last one I was at. I was here. Hey, when you was here? I was here. It was you on February twenty seventh. Okay, maybe that was. Yeah, we did. You're right. We missed yeah. the last one. <laughs> well, welcome yeah, for a minute. Thank you. I don't usually miss a meeting, so I was very confused, but it was February. That's I can't remember. February. 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 It's going to be a game, tell me if I'm right. And 5.1c is going to be, no, no. This is also, this is 6.1b as well, Laura. Yes. Mm -hmm. 6.1b? B, yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Video series? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So these two are for that um, the water transition subcommittee. Okay. And then yep. this is an um, estimate of the cost for the solar panels yep. for the bike run. Therefore, it be 5.1 C. Oh, okay. Want to agree with that? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's all I have. Okay. Um, I also. Uh, uh, I would like to respond to an email that Denise sent um, that we should add, I guess, as new business, um, uh, a request for expression of interest regarding uh, sovereignty and food sharing and spiritual care. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'd like you to uh, talk to us about that. Thanks. Okay. So where will that be? Seven point seven seven. 7.2. 7.2. Let's go with that. 7.1. Or 7.1. Yeah. 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 So, Will, do you yeah. have the email that I sent you on? I don't have my file with me. Because um, it has the it has the application and everything. Oh, like I, I haven't seen that. Yeah. There, it was it was sent to me by uh, emergency uh, EMBC or okay. ESS. And I think I have it. You sent it to me. Yeah. I sent it to you. Yeah, you sent it to me. <laughs> <laughs> so it was just a really quick. I, I don't so know. So I'll print it and we can inform us the discussion. At yeah, two. I think that okay, would be okay, hard because then otherwise I'm not going to be able to speak clearly enough. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay I've got something here. Yeah. And Will, I've got, I'm, I've got a transportation advisory committee update, but I've actually got a, several updates from an array of different committees. Can I just? Have the call the David update? Call it an update. Yeah. Okay. Where should we put that? It's uh, already here. Yeah, 6.1 update. 6 1? Yeah. Got, okay, gotcha. Okay. I got a few things to update. Yeah. yeah. So, shall we uh, have a motion to approve the minutes? Uh, agenda. That's agenda. agenda. Thank you. Agenda. Yeah. Mark? Seconder? Yeah. yeah. In favor? Carried. All right. Now let's split the minutes. And Jeff has been able to pour over the minutes uh, in the few seconds that uh, 
a handbook for water champions oh. put out by the Polis Water Sustainability Project and the Center for Indigenous Environmental Resources, mm -hmm. um, which might be uh, some seed information for yeah. our further a discussion. Great starting point. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Okay. Mark contacts Municipal National Natural um, Assets. Assets Initiative. We're, we're back. Ongoing? So ongoing. Is I've, I've tried through their website and I've tried through for their Facebook and I haven't gotten a response yet. Um, I know the mayor of Gibson's is like the chair of it, so I'm going to send him an email. Mm -hmm. A polite email. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just, yeah, it's just, so I don't know. So, okay. okay. What page is that on? Page five. Uh, sorry, nine. Nine. Thank you. Um, the Voter Transition Subcommittee bring recommendations back to the, we'll be talking about that later on. Um, on the agenda. Read the two letters provided by Councilor Hawking and provide comments by email by May 22nd. Hmm. Is that even on our agenda? I wonder if that letters? was from last one. And it those are those letters that I wrote. And so, yeah, we That's obviously were going to nitpick at a meeting. Yeah. We were supposed to look at them. Yeah. And then we would send them to a whole array of oil companies and um, who did I write them to? Um, Oh, I, now I don't even know. I didn't even know what letters you were talking about. I was just just reading over. Okay. So have these have those been sent around? Yes. Don't they have to go to council? Um, they would have to go to council, but we have to we have to agree to them. Yeah. This is two week, two meetings ago, I think it was. I agreed to write letters. It was it was uh, to all the oil companies um, about um, um, recognizing that you know all society is 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 having to pay for the costs of their yeah. work. Um, and asking them to do something about that, uh, and to, and to, was it the minister? Um, it was two months ago, I can't so remember. So was it going to be for the UDCM? So, is that the one? So May 15th, the letter is the deadline for comments. Yep. Recommendation yep. to council, and the council. It would have to go to the one before. Uh, and then UDCM. Oh no. Okay, well, if we all can't remember them, and I can't yeah. even remember who the two people were that I wrote it to. <laughs> I guess we have to put that onto the next agenda. We all have to, but we, I, I guess I should recirculate them. Um, would you? That, that would if I could find them. Um, I'm sure I can find yeah. them. It, it yes. was, uh, uh, this came out of a blank in my head when, when I, yeah. I came across Okay, that. I'll recirculate them. Yeah. yeah, I thought it was because I hadn't been here at the last meeting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it was two meetings ago. That I agreed to do it. Uh, but anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll recirculate the letters. So. Okay. Um, I think I sent that reminder email. Yep. Will climate leadership contact Adams trustee? Yeah, that, that that is another one that has to. It, it's ongoing. Okay. Yeah. Um, Engage with council on strategic planning regarding the climate conversation. Yeah, I, mean, um, I think we've um, we talked about a small amount of funding. Um, um, 
So I believe that's done. But Maureen would have a better memory of it than, than me because she's, she's been kind of the lead on that, that she brought it up at our discussion. Um, okay. So we'll just check on Maureen next, next yeah. meeting. Next meeting yeah. um, will Doodle Pool the emergency subcommittee? Done. Yep, um, done. done. Will, we're going to later notify the schools. That's yep. later. So, um, hopefully, I, I can do that after this meeting because uh, uh, right. we'll be discussing the, the, uh, right. the letter for approval. So. Okay. Carla, are we going to find a version of B that is more suitable for Bowen? Um, I haven't emailed them yet, but. Okay. I'm going? Uh, well, it's, I, I will. Okay. I'm going. I'm going. Locate community energy emission statistics and circulate to the community. Did she send those around? No, I don't, I don't think so. No. Okay. And you have already confessed that you did not send them. Confession time over. Yep. Okay. <laughs> this is rising from the minutes. Um, the Climate Action Revenue Incentive Program from Councillor Nicholson. I think she's, I guess that's some of these <coughs> documents that. Uh, uh, well, Councillor, can you this one? Well, the work has been done. It's to, if you look at the recommendations on page 11 of 46. It's. Um, that council direct the Environment and Climate Action Advisory Committee to discuss options for the disbursement of the CARIP grant fund. So we got uh, $4,000, I think it is, uh, four, four a bit, $4,015. Four, oh, four, yeah. No, just like that's, yeah, be used for solar panels for the bike barn. These funds were insufficient for product. Yeah. All right. Yeah, staff is recommending that ECAAC discuss disbursement of each 2018 CARIP funds. And that portion, okay, so, yeah. So that's why we need to have a look at this, yeah. Yeah, yeah so I spoke to Emma about that because yeah. I guess the funds from last year yeah. also weren't spent and that was because yeah. they were intended, I think this group decided that they should be used for solar panels on the bike barn, yeah. um, but it turned out to be quite expensive. Yeah. So that they thought that the funds from this past year could also be used, yeah. so um, this was, that's what, this was about um, the this is an estimate only for the installation so I know Maureen had said that there was um, some sort of a, a buying power deal with someone where we could we purchase solar panels for cheaper because they were mm -hmm. buying in bulk however that's not really the issue it's more about getting electricity to the bike barn mm -hmm. so, um, so that's going to cost around, it's 11500 about. And that's just for getting the electricity that's there? That's just the electricity. Oh, okay. And then the um, solar panels themselves were around 5000 oh. oh, so we're looking at, we've got a total of 8000 and we're looking at twice that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I think it's, it's uh, to add to this, um, I went to the, um, uh, the meeting about the solar co-op um, at um, uh, Collins Hall, I guess, two weekends ago yeah. now. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> it's very, very exciting because the, uh, uh, I think it's people on Pender or, or one, one of the other Gulf Islands have uh, formed a, a, a Galliano. So Galliano. Uh, they, they've got a, um, a, a co-op that is bulk buying mm -hmm. um, solar panels and working with um, uh, one company that is um, in, installing. And th what they're saying is these, the installing company has uh, been doing it enough that they're extremely fast and inexpensive. Uh, uh, there's no learning curve on there at all for, for installation. And so um, they're rampaging socialists, and so um, they, they were um, uh, saying that uh, uh, one of the reasons they're here is to spread the word to Bowen Islanders that uh, uh, we're welcome to join, 
uh, and Sue Ellen and Maureen were there, and um, they suggested that um, an option would be for the municipality to take out a membership too, and that makes it so that you can bulk buy for um, and and uh, and get some of their expertise about uh, installation. So um, pretty exciting. There was a comment a few days ago with Maureen. I think Blair was there. Where she was. We were talking with um, Dave Pollard about this, and he was quite well informed about the situation. Mm -hmm. And there was a comment that there might be also an interest to look at heat pumps through the same venue, exactly. so yeah. that we can actually look at a more rounded system. Yeah. Awesome. And so um, th th those are the the, the two big. Um, big moves that, that you can do as a, an individual or, or a, uh, a group. The um, seniors co-op is looking into this too. Uh, they're, they're pretty excited about, uh, about getting a, a foothold in, in the, the solar and in heat options. Mm, good. Well, just to add to that, uh, Belterra was also very interested. Yes. And this Say C Renewable Energy Co-op uh, also said that they were willing to just provide all their bylaws to be used as a template for anybody who wanted to create yeah. their own co-op. So yeah. very, you know, yeah. very cooperative approach. Yeah. So, so there, there, there's there's two options on Bowen is is a, a separate co-op or um, uh, join the, the 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 one that exists. My thought, it, it I've joined uh, that co-op. Um, just because I know that uh, they have expertise and um, uh, the bylaws are already done, you know, all the, 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 the heavy lifting for, for forming a co-op is there. And they're also, um, they're, they're buying in bulk now. Mm -hmm. So, um, but again, they're, they're more than happy to, to um, work either way, so. Uh, so, David, will, um, in order for anyone on Bowen to participate on this, does the municipality have to, um, or no, what? No. What, um, what action is needed here? Um, I think the only action is, is I think, get the uh, information out, and the, uh, to, to, to join the co-op, you, you fill out a, a, a membership uh, request form and give them a hundred bucks. And so, um, you know, it's kind of like Mountain Equipment Co-op, and if you uh, drop a, a chunk of money that gives them capital to, to operate. And um, so, uh, the reason that the municipality was, was thinking about, uh, you know, two councillors were thinking about this, is that uh, uh, municipal buildings could be uh, uh, supplied by this, this co-op. So, uh, the, uh, the fire hall and, and the, um, uh, the community center. Community center. Mm -hmm. The other thing that they're talking of that this co-op talks about too is they help people um, build buildings that are solar ready, so mm -hmm. that um, you get the, the wiring and, and the, the, the the place where you put the inverters and all that stuff. In, into the, uh, the the building, so that at a later date you could um, uh, put the, the the solar panels in very easily and quickly. So uh, uh, lots of, of good options for for homeowners that um, if you're building uh, and you don't have enough uh, capital at the moment for for solar panels, um, you design. The, the building to, to easily take it. So, so in, in just in, in, in yeah. regard to your question, uh, joining that cooperative and finding out what it would cost through the co-op to do the buy of the solar panels would revise this right. optional cost estimate right. project. That's I guess we have a couple of things before us. But one is, excuse me for a second, but if we recommend that yeah. the municipality joins this co-op, I mean, okay. Yeah. A couple of things before us. Like one is we've got to respond about um, you know how will we spend the four plus four eight thousand bucks, yeah. um, and so clearly regardless of 
what deal we might get on solar panels, we don't have enough money just yet. Um, and But I'd like also to discuss this a little bit. I don't know why we need a new power pole, so I'd like to discuss this, because yeah. I'm not happy with it. Um, um, and then in terms of the co-op, that's a sort of a separate thing, but we can make a recommendation, or maybe it's a, a council, or, or maybe it's simply a communication job. We, we need to inform residents that they could join this co-op. Yeah. Um, we can make a recommendation or do our own work or whatever on that. So if we could just talk about this for a second, sure. if this is the agenda item, yep. is does anybody, Carla, mm -hmm. why do we need a new power pole? Because I don't want one. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, we've already had a fuss where Hydro wants to build it, put another power, um, pole in front of the library and we're objecting because we've got enough power poles down there and it looks awful. Yeah. I mean, and I can't imagine one more, I mean, where would it go? I know, and I, I had said that to Emma too, I was like, yeah. why do we need a new power pole? And yeah. she said, I don't really know either. Um, but then we thought, well, it is on a dock and it's not like they can put it underground, right? So that's the only yeah. kind of justification yeah. I can see. But there's power but, for the wharf and everything. But, you know, well, that's kind of what I thought too. They have those special, I forget what it's called, conduit. Not mm -hmm. conduit, yeah. but that black plastic thick yeah. stuff. Yeah. I, we put it in my old place yeah. as a way of avoiding power pool. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, well, why don't we, expensive. we need to follow up on this and just say, okay, yeah. we need to maybe find we out. Can get, just, maybe we can get power. another estimate. Um, yeah, maybe you could second yeah. opinion about it. get a second opinion. Yeah. If you could sort of follow up on that. As to, okay, why do we need a power pole? Because yeah. we should, don't want to spend the $11,000 and we don't want another power pole. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Sure, I can, I'll ask, um, I can ask Greg about sure. that because this came from Greg, the building inspector. Oh, okay. So sure. I kind of, so, I mean, yeah. Yeah, he's like, that's a you would know better yeah. probably. Yeah, than yeah. I mean, maybe we have else. to have yeah. a so maybe that is case. Yeah. Really the case, right? Yeah. In which case, okay, we'll have to come up with eleven thousand dollars one day. Yeah, and, and if it's a um, uh, something to do with bylaws, municipal bylaws, maybe it would be time to um, revisit that uh, mm -hmm. if the um, the design requirement is that you have to have a power pole and other options maybe uh, but I, I think from the point of view of safety and, and uh, uh, durability something other than a power pole uh, um, you know again you've got that that um, easy access underneath the, the unit the dock there that uh, uh, wouldn't be exposing people to uh, uh, to the cables and that kind of thing. And, and again, the conduit would be in some kind of waterproof uh, mm -hmm. and, and people-proof uh, too. So any other questions that, well, uh, uh, on this? I, I guess it's we're, we're asked to figure out what we're going to do to spend now $8,000, and it isn't going to be this, unless we don't need a power pole and we can do something else. So I guess we should just sort of wait on that. Yeah, it's not time sensitive. You're saying, right? It's not time sensitive. I don't yeah. think. Yeah. If we, we didn't spend the four last year. We're good. Yeah. Well, yeah, we don't. We didn't spend the four last year. We don't right. even have the four yet. I yeah. mean, I only right. just submitted it yeah. by it was by June first. So yeah. I'm sure it takes them a little bit to get the yeah. money to yeah. before we get a check in the mail. Yeah. 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 Um. Unless I, I know you guys are going to speak to this afterwards, but unless we want to um, talk about the bonus transition, is that? Any rough, right. Is there any rush on that? Um, I don't know what kind of timeline they wanted. What we did speak about was the concerns that went that came from council that had to do with um, the content and making sure that the content was, um, let's say, stable or that it would be what we would want to see in the in the video. So how do you monitor that? How do we make sure the content is correct? I, I think we should wait for the for yeah. to, to discuss that okay. and when we get there. But the money isn't. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. not time right. yeah. sensitive. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So does this need to stay on the agenda for next month then? I think so, yes. Okay, yeah. like, yeah. okay, good. Yeah, and uh, you know, I think the action item is uh, to ask for uh, uh, clarification on, on uh, why we need a, uh, a power pole and are there other options and, and uh, uh, would this even require a, um, uh, a different uh, poke. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Do we need to make a motion or is that uh, No, I can follow up. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Okay. 
So next uh, business. Are we staff report to council? That's B. That one we want? Uh, no, the B and B are just the supporting documents. Yes. Yes. Okay. So just go to the next number. Okay. Climate conversations. There we go. Maureen. So we'll just have to wait for Maureen. Maybe we can, uh, maybe it's something. Uh, should I um, email her and ask her? If she wants to um, circulate um, information about the crash talk um, to the group she, before, she sent an email. Yeah. Just saying we should we should have a kind of conversation about this. Yeah. What do people think about that idea? Mm -hmm. Did she have a speaker that she suggested an expert? It didn't even want to everybody, didn't it? Um, no, I think I think so. I think it went to Jeff. No, well, I don't think it went to Jeff. Not Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He wasn't on the group. Oh. Um, I think she wants to know what you guys think of that. Okay. Here it is. I'd like to organize a session on where our garbage and resource goes and what happens to it. Needs refinement as a session. So checking for interest. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. We sit. Right. We sit. Yeah. 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 That definitely interesting. Yeah. Definitely <laughs> interesting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I'll just. Uh, uh, that, uh, do I speak for the group? Definitely interested. Yeah. I'm yes. interested. Yeah. Sure. It's certainly timely. Mm -hmm. yeah. With garbage making its way back here from the yeah. dead. How about you, Jeff? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And the refinement part. Refinement, I think we leave to Councillor Nicholson, uh, yes, unless does. we've got some, some if there's some suggestions for speakers or, I don't know. I'd suggest the leaves. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Definitely. And I think um, Councillor Nicholson will have some ideas already about what needs refining and we yeah. haven't heard a big concept. Yeah. Um, but yes, certainly that's one requirement. We, we need a bit more info. Um, I mean, I could do some research. Um, you know, to what extent are things uh, able to be recycled in, in our region? Um, yeah. Now that you can't just ship stuff overseas to other countries. Um, I know some plastics are recyclable here, some aren't, um, but I have, um, you know, I, I don't know the answer to that. It's complicated, yeah. um, and uh, it would it'd be good to get all that kind of information. I mean, I could, I could get it from Metro Vancouver. Could you ask? I could ask Paul for that. Or could you ask him to speak? Um, I could ask maybe, maybe somebody from Metro. It's hard to get somebody. It's just like it's, you know, it's hard to get somebody from the mainland to come here, yeah. and and uh, and then take a late ferry home and all that kind of stuff and drive to Burnaby or wherever the heck they come from. What about a projection on Skype or something? Even though, like a fifteen or twenty minute talk for different people, we could sit down and have a conversation. Okay, I'll f I'll I'll check. I'll follow up. Thanks, Dave. Okay. Any more discussion on the trash talk? Okay. Updates. Number oh, six. Me. Okay. Um, that's just so uh, a couple of things. Um, uh, council meeting. Uh, the things that are involved. Um, climate work and transportation work. So the climate. Uh, sorry. The um, uh, the. Um, multi-use path across the island. Yeah, that was on the last council agenda. Um, the un it was really unfortunate. What happened is that um, the the budget for it was figured out by um, an engineering company. They estimated, I forget what the number was, um, and um, and so Emma then applied for um, funding and got a whole lot of funding. So it was about three. Nearly seven eighths of it is going to be funded by outside people. 
but the budget, when she put it out to RFP, the two um, companies ended up coming in with numbers that are way, way higher, a couple of hundred thousand bucks higher than what the engineering estimate was. And so it was a really a bit of a dicey discussion at council because um, we had to go find the money from somewhere else. Um, um, but we, we did, and we voted in favor of, uh, to support it. And so the work will be starting soon. I don't know when, you can ask Emma when that'll start. Um, but that's up for the, that's a top first zigzag corner, uh, Charlie's Lane. And that's, you know, the hardest piece of work that has to be done for the whole thing. And so that's sort of get that dangerous corner done right off the top. It'll be done. I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but it, there will be some, um, there will be, so an environmental side to this, environmental protection, because it's a riparian area on that steep slope down. So there will be some uh, lock block walls built to support the, um, the path on the outside of that. And so obviously there'll have to be all kinds of work, making sure that there's um, no damage into the riparian area below. So that's a tricky piece of work, but it's going to happen and it'll be done this summer. Wow, that's, that's great. Yes. Yeah. Oh. And full disclosure there, I'm the environmental consultant for that project and have been involved in the mitigation planning and the, the prior assessment for that, particularly the part about Turtle Creek. Yeah. That's a comfort. Thank you. That's good yeah, to know. Great. Yeah, thanks, Alan. Yeah. Um, ferry, ferry Advisory Committee. Um, so we had a nice long discussion. One of our things is an electric ferry, obviously, from a climate perspective. Since that's, what was that, was that me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, since that's one of our big areas of emissions. Um, um, so we had a good long discussion with them. They were certainly, BC Ferries were certainly open to the discussion and they are already working on um, what they can do about electric ferries. But there are a number of obstacles. Um, one is, of course, uh, just getting the power, the amount of power needed down into Horseshoe Bay. Uh, but they are doing a rebuild of Horseshoe Bay Terminal um, over the next few years. And so presumably there will be something like that built into that. Um, but other issues are just simply the um, how long capital lasts, the capital turnover. You know, you got a bit, I'm just seeing the ferry, it's right out there. It's just had its midlife refit, so it's got another whatever, 15, 20 years, something like that. Um, in BC Ferries capital plan, it will be replaced by the Island Sky. If anyone's gone up to Powell River, that's the Island Sky. That's a vote for that one. In um, 2036, something like that. Now by 2036, we should be on our way to being carbon neutral. So the Island Sky will not help us be car a carbon neutral, but we've got all that capital. You know, it's, 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 not an easy, yeah. it's not an easy task to just say, okay, let's go all electric. Yeah. And there are a bunch of other problems um, um, in terms of the big boats going across. Um, having batteries for that, that's very heavy and it's just like um, uh, planes, little short haul planes could maybe be electric, but big planes going across big areas can't be electric, yeah. not right now, not for a good while. Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, we had a good discussion with them. Um, oh, one thing they did say that's uh, useful is that um, new, uh, the new ferries that they're getting will be hybrids where they'll be, um, they could be converted to full battery, so it'll be electric. Um, probably natural gas hybrid, something like that. It could be converted to battery over time when that becomes available. So anyway, those discussions will continue. Uh, one other bit of information, there's a, the refit will be January to, I forget, three weeks I think it is, mid-January to the beginning of February sometime. Um, and so we discussed what's going to happen about that. Um, the great thing that happened in the last refit, the big refit, was Peter's bus ended up, um, you know, they put in a bus to take extra people, and, um, and that became something that changed a whole lot of people's lives because it became part of our system. Um, so they're looking at several options, including running water. They know uh, it's going to be, once again, it's going to be the um, Bowen Queen, which is way smaller than the, our new and large boat. Um, so they're looking at um, perhaps water taxi service, perhaps um, an additional bus, and then they will do parking and stuff like that. So there might be something that comes out of that that, once again, can be something that we run as a pilot and learn and turn into something that could last. So that's coming up in the, in the winter. Um, I was at an interesting conference, um, the um, Renewable Cities Conference um, last week in, in Vancouver, an international conference put on by SFU. Um, and uh, it was or hosted by SFU, and it was really interesting. And a couple of a whole, it's all around climate change and what can be done, and so on. A couple of things that struck me it was a lot about 
how can municipalities work with other levels of government? And, um, and it's a lot of the examples were you know, people from California and, and, and um, Oregon and, and things that didn't really apply that much to us. But some of the interesting things, there was a, um, Alex Boston, who was at SFU, gave a presentation on, uh, on GHG emissions per capita, like where do they come from? And he showed some interesting research that looked at a map of Toronto, or Greater Toronto and, and then GHG emissions per person and where they lived. And basically the correlation was how far you live from work. It's basically that's it. Um, and then the, one of the things they said is in terms of municipalities, you looked at all the things you can do in terms of climate action. And in terms of the municipalities, you know, with their, our, our scope of action, land use, land use planning is a big thing to address exactly what I was just saying, so that people can live closer to work, and in, for us that means closer to Snug Cove, or have easier transportation to Snug Cove, rather than everyone having to drive. So, I mean, it's stuff we already know, but it was interesting to see it sort of yeah. on the screen, yeah. and with some data that supports yeah. it. And that's, that's great to, uh, to, to see that it really supports the intra-island intra -island trail. Yes. Because there's uh, yeah. some big chip opportunities yeah. to, um, uh, use that as, as a, a commuting yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. artery. Yeah, exactly. Kids going to school and so on. Yeah. A couple of other things in some of the work that we've got in the next item on the agenda or somewhere down here. Um, uh, the Advisory Planning Commission. So one of the other things that I'm trying to do is um, uh, a land use planning approach called conservation development, which means clustering of homes uh, to protect the environment, but also clustering them around transportation routes. So that was task was given to the Advisory Planning Commission um, last week, and they agreed to take it on, and they formed a subcommittee to work on it, and I'm part of that subcommittee. So we've got a meeting next week or something like that. So that's uh, moving forward. And the final thing that I'm working on is composting. Uh, we've talked about it quite a bit here, and Carla and I are both um, looking at the material that we've actually worked on over the last few years and meetings with various people who are actually doing this work. So um, we'll have more to talk about that in the next while. But we're trying to find if there's a way that we can do this that's affordable and, and low risk for Bowen. And it's a tricky issue, but that's what we can do. So more to, more to come on that later. So that's from a few different committees and things that I'm involved in. Thanks, Steve. Comments or questions um, based on that? Uh, David, I, the, the, the one thing that, that comes to my mind about uh, uh, BC ferries and electric uh, yeah. options, yeah. and seeing that you know that uh, that capital capitalization of, yeah. of big boats is yeah. is, is such a uh, uh, a problem. It, that uh, I'm wondering about um, uh, passenger-only ferries, the, you know, an electrification. Of, yeah. If if they've got any uh, um, options there for uh, um, in, instead of yeah. expanding boats or, or you know adding yeah. more superstructure to things like the Queen of Capilano, yeah. if, if they uh, so do they have plans for? Um, we keep reminding them of the importance of that, and I, that's another point that I did make at the meeting, is that from a GHG perspective, electric ferries, low emission ferries are great, but actually moving people instead of cars is even better. Mm -hmm. um, now, it does mean that the province would have to um, invest more in transit, but buses are a lot cheaper than big ships. Yeah. So. Yeah. And, and buses are a lot cheaper than a wider road, too. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you know, we we've been talking to them about that for quite a few years. Um, at first, there was real pushback because BC ferries was ferries. You know, the idea was moving cars around. That was sort of from the 50s and 60s, and that was. Um, but there's a whole lot less pushback now. They're interested, and one of the things is that that ferry terminal over there is jammed. They don't, they don't have room. It's a narrow opening, it's a busier terminal than, than to awesome, and they can't fit any more big ships going in and out. So mm -hmm. looking at simpler alternatives is one of the things they are looking at yeah. and have to look at. Yeah. Great. So. Okay. Anything else from the members? Okay. 
Um, I guess we're at, okay, we've got Jim Pack, we've done that. Yeah. And I guess now it's uh, Bone in Transition subcommittee. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So we have these two pieces of paper. Yep. One is the basic proposal that was given, and on the back of the proposal you will see that there's a list of different opportunities or ideas that came forward. Um, the actual uh, information about how much it costs is on the front page, and I believe it's uh, 35 an hour, approximately 300 and something per video, 10 hours each video. And they're considering, what it was, six videos that they're considering asking to start. To start. And uh, I'm, according to Marina, went to council, and mm -hmm. council came back asking about the uh, monitoring of the content. And um, we put forward perhaps uh, that could be done just in a certain way, that the content be monitored by um, in some way that it would be reviewed before it gets said, yep. in some way of point form or anything that would help us get some grounding on that. Okay. And um, I don't know, is there anything else? Um, no, just like preparing questions yeah. ahead of time. Really mm -hmm. um, could I find, um, Steph, can you find our minutes of council meetings? So this was um, not the last meeting, but the meeting before. So this was well received by council. Mm -hmm. and. And in terms of content, um, like the, the topics, everybody thought, yeah, these are a bunch of good topics. Mm -hmm. um, so there was, like, an, and in terms of, one of the things that I raised, but I have no idea, I'd have to look at the minutes. Is the it? June 10th, sir? Uh, it would well, be. May 13th? Probably, yeah. Let's see what it says. Um, one of the things that I would have said, or I was thinking of saying, is whenever you're, co-branding something. I mean, um, Bone Island already has a brand. It has a way it you know, communicates and, and all that sort of stuff. So it has to align with that. Yeah. Um, so, um, so that's always sort of means you need a way of sort of working together. That's all. So that it's not, it's not like, it's not like that there's a lack of trust or any worry about that. It's just that, you know, it, it just, this is, if it's, it's if it's, brand. it's got to fit the brand. It's got to fit, you know, the yeah. way we speak and all that sort of stuff. Um, so let's see if there's anything in here. Well, that's me, what's that? No. What am I looking for? Um, the, the bone in transition. Um, Is it a delegation? So no, I, I might have so. a draft, a set of draft minutes. What was it? It's too bad Maureen's not here, she's got a better memory than me. So what do we need to do here? One of the questions that came yeah. forward were yeah. uh, of all these topics, if we could if we could consider this project, what would be the six items that we want to use or mm -hmm. highlight or do videos of, and um, how would we want to monitor it? How would we want to monitor the content? And um, and I, I, I don't I, that's all I remember really yeah. of, yeah. of the discussion as far as the time. Yeah. So, um, I've got a question for number three about branding again, and um, I would suggest that, uh, well, I, I would ask the question, would it be better to co-brand um, Bone in Transition with Bowen Island Municipality rather than uh, 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 a volunteer subcommittee. Us. And so my, my thought would be um, it would be more powerful if, if it came from, from uh, BIM and, and uh, mm -hmm. I think maybe the, um, uh, the task or the, the function of, of our group would be to, to be the um, um, the first sip of uh, mm -hmm. of, of this, and, and I and so I I think it's going to depend on the um, the video making 
process that, that um, uh, Bowen in Transition uses? Do they do, um, uh, do, they do storyboards? Do they do um, scripts? Uh, and so those kind of uh, things would be where um, we would be reviewers of those steps, you know, so that uh, 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 if, if they're doing scripts and storyboards, we'd see those and make comments um, with the brand of, of uh, Bowen Island Municipality in mind. And it would, we, we would probably pass on reports to council and staff um, based on that. And so I, I think we, we, we need a little more information from Bone in Transition on um, what's, your, what's your standard process for developing a, uh, a video. Uh, and uh, then when we know that, we can uh, identify things that, you know, the, the steps that we, we should be uh, involved in. Mm -hmm. Alan? Two thoughts come to mind here. One is that, um, first of all, I, I do agree that, that uh, Bone Island Municipality being the co-sponsor or, or co-producer yeah. is, is much stronger. Um, our role as a committee, we would need to receive guidance about this vetting that the branding matches and so on. There are people within the municipality who are yeah. well versed in that. Yeah. But definitely mm -hmm. our committee, yeah. at least I'm not. Yeah, very well person that other than the, you know, tell your friends it's awful here and you know that kind of stuff. Yeah. Right? Um, it, so adapting that. Um, and as far as the content or the way Bone in Transition has been producing, I've seen the two videos they've yeah. done so far. They're just straight interview format, yeah. question and answer to a specialist, let's yeah. call it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know whether they have adopted that as a standard. I would suspect that it's an evolving thing yeah. as they uh, yeah. become more hopefully, experienced. Hopefully, it would yeah. be uh, uh, you know they develop you know depending on what the topic is that uh, right. that have a, a, a an adequate or, or a, a appropriate sorry um, approach and, and delivery. So yeah. it might not be the same for all. Um, Mark. And I agree with you, uh, and Alan, um, but it should be, the branding should be kind of a municipal thing. But I think we should toot our own, own horn a bit. Like, um, it'd be nice to increase our kind of, the way, just get, get our name out there. I, know I, I still run into people who are like, you sit on the environment committee. We have an environment committee. And, yeah. and you know, some people are like, I've looked into it and I'm like, wow, that's great. It's good to see. It'd be nice to advertise yourself a little yeah. bit. By no means do I think we should be like usurping the municipality yeah. because I mean, it is a municipal thing. Yeah. But let's not be afraid to yeah. do our own. And, and so, so we've got to be in the credits at least. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Or the opening yeah. shot could be us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they they should not shave it. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so I'm just reading this, I didn't realize. Yep. This is very, sorry. I was reading the, the revised, but I didn't read the, the Laura, Maureen, and Denise did. Oh, OK. Okay, so this gets to spending carrot as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> that's where you were going earlier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. This is one. Twenty-five what? bucks of film, though, is mm -hmm. three hundred twenty-five per film is a pretty frugal budget. Yeah, yeah it's about thirty-five dollars an hour for their editor. Right? For, was that right? Um, that's what it says. Yeah. Oh, but to, to, to write up a, a, like a 20 minute video yeah. could take up to 10 hours for somebody to log it up and to really make it line up. Yeah. So it, there's probably a fair amount of pro, pro bono time here if they're doing it that way. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, sorry, but to, to clarify that, so we're the, the um, we're, we're like 
most of bone in transition would be pro bono time, but we need a technical person That's right. who, yeah. who puts yeah. it together Put and makes sure that it yeah. lends its stand okay. again, and mm -hmm. credits and yeah. you know, all those things. Yeah. All right, so we're recommending $2,000. $2,000 from CARIP to support development of these videos. Okay. So it kind of adds up to about the same, right? It's about two grand for the six videos. And um, yeah, no, no, isn't there, but there's a, a, a second $2,000 recommendation here. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it's 4024 uh, So it, it, it looks like it's an, an ask of 4000 and so, um, uh, oh, that was for Julia. Yeah, yeah, that right. was Julia. It wasn't that had to do with this. Okay, yeah. that's so a separate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so to be clear, then, where it says we further recommend, and it mentions Brunei Agricultural Alliance and the Food Sovereign Group. Received two thousand. That two thousand dollars is in addition to the other two thousand dollars. It's still less than the four thousand and fifteen. Yeah. And, and yeah. separate things. So we should discuss yeah. them separately. But this doesn't have to happen today. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, but but the, the first one though, we want the, the two thousand bucks to bone in transition. Do we want to make that recommendation today? It was recommending that and recommending a method of how to approach the content that was yes. yeah. So, um, my, my thoughts for prudence here would be to um, uh, find out if uh, and I don't think this is a, this first one is an issue. If uh, Bowen in transition is comfortable with co-branding with with uh, Bowen municipality, I don't think that's an issue. But I think we should uh, just uh, uh, yeah. make sure that, that, that that's okay. It's their proposal. Yeah. It's their proposal. Yeah, it comes yeah. from their document. Yeah. Yeah, but. <coughs> but what, what they want to do is co-brand with ECA, so yeah. Uh, yeah. ECAC, yeah. rather than, than BIM. Yeah. And so I think it's just a clarification that, uh, that you know, make sure that uh, uh, everybody's on the same page on, on this. And then my second question is, uh, um, we would, you know, we would like to know what their uh, their, their method of, of developing a, a video is so that we know um, uh, uh, where we can uh, fit in. Yeah. And then uh, uh, with, the, with that knowledge and, our, our, and we're comfortable with it, I think the next step is to approve the, uh, uh, or recommend the, the $2,000 uh, um, expenditure. Yeah. But, uh, I, I agree with both of your points. I think um, I'd like to have a conversation with them yeah. um, that talks about, raise both points, but particularly spend some time on how they produce it. And then, since it's being co-branded with them, is, like I think this is really important, it needs to be really well done. Yeah. Like I'm thinking of, in our next item, which is the climate action stuff, I think there's a job for going in transition. Um, in that work, mm -hmm. um, but um, like for instance, heat pumps, mm -hmm. buying and installing heat pumps. Mm -hmm. Like I'd like to see them storyboard something like that. Okay, yeah. how are you going to do it? Mm -hmm. oh, and I, I don't want. Certainly, I wouldn't want to just um, interviews. Just looking yeah. at somebody's talking face. No, nope. it's got to be better than that. We need images, diagrams, yeah. Yeah. something to hold people's attention. And and I agree with your note here. Less than twenty minutes. Like mm -hmm. Most people can't watch things more than about five or six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I can't. Um, so, you know, it's, and you should be able to, like, you need to do something at home. What do you do? You Google uh, yeah. and you look at a YouTube video that says how to plant a dahlia or whatever. Yeah. And it takes you two minutes and then you become an expert. And that's yeah. kind of how everybody does stuff. And that's what this should be like. It yeah. should be that kind of thing. It should be a river. Heat pump, seven or eight minutes. Yeah, we don't want Bob and we want Colin because um, they've just done one. Um, but 
it should have um, Greg as well, and it should have you know, details. Um, what about grants? What about and all that kind of stuff? Like it's yeah. and, and even even if if it's um, if there's too much information for that um, uh, 20, 10 to twenty minute uh, yeah. uh, video, uh, it can be part A and B. Sure. So, yeah. but it, it 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 shouldn't be a big lump. No. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe yeah. like a one to two minute like this is what it's all about kind of a bite sized video yeah. and then uh, for more information yeah. watch the ten minute video. Like a trailer. Like a trailer. Like a trailer. Yeah. That's yeah. a good yeah. idea. Yeah. But it's like people will watch it for a yeah. minute. Yeah. I'll, I'll commit to a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but, but ten, not probably not. Yeah. yeah. Not unless you're really ready to do Unless I'm actually gonna yeah. 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 No, that's a great right. idea. So two two points. One of the things that I noticed in the possible subjects that I think is missing is how to reduce your dependence on plastics. Just throw that out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, so just 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 yeah, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. And my second point, I don't want to be a downer. I, this is a great idea. Let's, and if I miss something from when I left with the solar panel discussion, um, so the carrot fund is kind of been going towards the solar, solar panels on the bike yeah. yep. So that's the project we've already got in the works. Yep. So, yeah. yeah. And that's the thing. I mean, I, yeah, I, I understand the price tag for that is way too much. Um, We're trying to get rid of the power pole. If we can get rid of the power pole, then, then it... Right. I just wouldn't I want to see the solar panels derailed. Yeah. I mean, I think that's important. I yeah. think and I'm not trying to derail this. Yeah. yeah. I think that mm -hmm. he's making a really good point because I think they're counting on this money. I think that they've assumed that they're getting it for the solar panels. Or like that that was assumed last year. That and that's why it was money. carried over, so. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, and I, sorry, and I, I was just going to say like, I, I thought these other things were just like a couple hundred bucks each kind of thing. Like I didn't know it was all of the carrot money and I, I maybe would have brought that up sooner, but yeah. Um, yeah. I just didn't quite realize. So another, we just need to discuss it, I think. Yes, yeah. there's also another idea. If we don't have carrot money to put towards that, there are programs, simple enough, that you could create a video that's of standard that can be done very, very easily, just like I, I have one. Uh, it's like you want to do a five minute video and you can do as many as you want. It's a, it's a, it's a one year fee, it's like a hundred bucks and you get all, the, everything lines up, everything's already done, it's a template really. So if they wanted to do it but we couldn't offer them any support, we could find other ways of you know, finding other means to support them and say that, you know, we don't want to just leave them cold, but like make other recommendations that they can use if they don't have the funds. Just and I'm totally like supporting, like, yeah. this is great, let's, let's yeah. go with this. And I'm not saying like, let's yeah. not I just spend the money on it. Yeah. Do it. You yeah. really want to do a standard, but you don't have the money, this is a really good approach. Yeah, yeah. some information too. Yeah. Or, so, oh, one other suggestion would just be, why don't they just make like three videos this year? And then, yeah. you know, three more next year. Could they apply for the community grants? Because they, are they eligible? Uh, no, because they're not registered. Oh, no, there wasn't one clause that they could be, yes. Yeah, they could be. Yeah, they could partner to with yeah. a black line from them. Yeah, they could partner to with yeah. Know, yeah. somebody. If they had a support, if they had a sponsor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, you, you, uh, will probably find out that I'm not the best money guy on the planet. So I need to uh, need to know um, what's the what's the pot for carrot that, that that's available and aren't aren't we committed to spending it on the solar panels? Like do we have any of any money of, of this size, you know, the two thousand to um, to, to, to give. So the 2018 funds are around 4,000. Yeah. The 2017 funds are already are also around 4,000. Yeah. The 2017 funds we have already committed to the solar panels. Yeah. With there was an assumption, I think yeah. maybe from staff members that the 2018 funds would also be contributed to that. Yeah. But yeah. it's really up to us to make a recommendation yeah. as to what yeah. we would like to. And I think. You know, my, my thought is, is is let's finish one project before we um, commit to another one. Yeah. Um, so I think what we 
you might have to tell Bowen in transition is that um, this year the money's spent, so um, maybe there's other ways we can support them, as, as uh, uh, Denise has, has said, uh, and that we'd like to talk to them and work, you know, uh, have, a, have another um, uh, meeting with, with uh, Bowen in transition to to talk about those things that we were talking about, like um, the branding option with uh, with uh, the municipality, etc., and the, um, the the talk about uh, uh, process. You know, how how do they do their uh, develop their their videos, and how and how can we work with them on that? So, I I, I agree with that approach, and I agree with the idea that. Uh, completing an actual working hardware type of project uh, that's already where you've got some momentum should be receiving the priority. Yeah. The information stuff is really important too, uh, but it's, as it turns out, it's a mixing line. Yeah. That's the way I see it. And, and that we'd really like to talk to them about next year's budget. And, and so, I'll be careful with that discussion because if it's sixteen thousand yeah. dollars, you have to care about it. If, if if that's the road we're going down, and yeah. just letting it accrue at this current yeah, rate. Don't, don't like, build up expectations. Yeah. Un, 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 I mean, hopefully, I mean, hopefully, it doesn't take that long to get the solar panels yeah. and the co-op works. Yeah. So we need we need to get the new estimate. We need to figure out if we actually do need a power pole, or are there alternatives, and all that yeah. stuff. And then what, what it might cost to buy the panels itself through the co-op, so on. So, yeah. we could also explore we, more funding options. Yeah. I, mean, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't think anyone's looked at it probably since last year, so maybe right. there's you know, new, new uh, pools become available all the time, especially yeah. for things like solar panels. So. Yeah. Yeah, for that. yeah. So we. Do we need to um, have, have a response to Bowen and Transition um, in the near time timeline? Well, I think they were asking for, for a response from us because we we're bringing it up tonight, but yeah. I don't know what, how much what their timeline is like. But. Yeah. So, show um, we two um, members to, to uh, well, maybe maybe the subcommittee to, to, to write a response based on um, what we've been discussing. We can give it to Maureen, give, or we, we can go directly, however you wish. Um, do you have a, a, a recommendation for, us for that uh, way to, to proceed? Well, I think that it's pretty basic and pretty simple. We can just mm -hmm you know, write this up and send it to David and let him know that we're, where we're at. If, you, if you'd like, we can, exactly as you said. Does that sound good to the rest of the group? Um, yeah, maybe. Circulate it first? Yeah. Well, so yeah. I was going to say, I, I don't want to get their hopes up, but I also don't want to shoot them down yeah. either, yeah. because we're just, we're not really sure, right? So. Exactly. Yeah. So, but the, what, he, what he's asking is that um, just this year the money spent, so that's not going to happen, so they can't consider that. Yeah. And that's the one thing that they need to know if yeah. they're considering money from us. Is that true? Well, have 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 we really decided that the camp funds are going towards the solar panels? Or is that like, that's what I mean. Yeah, I. Well, I, I think we're going to discuss it again I, next yeah. meeting once we get the okay. rest of the information. So. Yeah. Yeah, and, so, and so maybe we, we have to put them off, saying okay. um, we're, we're finding uh, um, we, we have need more information about uh, another project that uh, we're, we're committed to, and, and um, uh, we'll have to uh, get some more information before we know if there's going to be funds available. Okay. Just going to ask the staff, in terms of procedure here, like we don't have a, we don't have a recommendation. So, I mean, I was going to make a motion or something, but there's no reason. We don't, no need, have, to. don't have to have That's, a motion. I don't feel like there's so much time really, sensitivity. Yeah. 
And this is an ongoing discussion amongst the community members. Yeah, so it's to continue the discussion then, yeah. yeah. Recognizing that... There's been no referral from council or staff <laughs> because it's to be executed on a deadline. Right. 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 Yeah. yeah, so we've got another project. We're not quite sure what the, what the final cost will be, but it's probably going to take at least... So that's the, so I mean, you could make a resolution like that, just an internal resolution, just because we don't want to keep it waiting. Say we're I mean, that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a valid point. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, I, I don't want us to give the impression that we don't support it. I mean, we, exactly. we certainly support it, but exactly. It's just let's, so, we so be, I'm going to make a recommendation. Okay. Yep. Okay. That um, first of all, uh, I guess I'll have three points. Maybe I'll have four. Let's see. Woo. First one. <laughs> first one. First Go one is that we appreciate the work that uh, Bone and Trans Transition has done, and we like the idea of these videos. That, that right. It could be very useful for engaging the public. So that's point one. Um, point two is we'd love to meet with them um, when the time is possible to go over, you know, their production approaches, um, potential costs. Um, and you know how they storyboard things and so on. In other words, to get a sense of how they would do their work and what the what the product would look like. But the third, and maybe this should be number two, is uh, the budget issue. Is we have right now uh, we have um, 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 what can I call it? An interim commitment um, to um, to fund solar panels on the bike barn, um, but we're still getting costs. Um, sorted out for that, and so it's unclear whether we'll have any additional funds um, in, um, in, this, this, in this year. Yeah. We don't know that yet. It's, it's rather doubtful, no, it's, it's doubtful, it's unclear but doubtful that we'd have any additional funds to spend this year yeah. because of this you know, interim commitment to this other project. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something yeah. like that? Yeah, or well, maybe we're, uh, we're still researching other funding options. Yes, that's right. Yeah, and um, yeah, and we're looking at other funding options, but it's too early to say we'd have additional money. And it, I don't want to say it's not hope. Don't be hopeful. Uh, yeah. we need to have some words to that effect. Yeah. That, you know, at, uh, at, at the current, the way the budget looks right now, uh, there probably won't be additional funds. But we're looking at what some of the options are in terms of the project that we've already made a tentative <laughs> case. So, so, so it's a lot of words. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, if, if we make this motion, then it can be part of the letter or the yep. note that goes to them or something like that. It says, like, like we dig your project, but sort of thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so yeah. Steph got all of that. <laughs> Steph, <laughs> incredible. Steph. And as it was coming in, she edited it to be even more eloquent than that. Uh, it's true. Go. <laughs> what do you got, Steph? I just I like what you said, but worse. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I feel like it's something to work on the house. That the community appreciate the work that Bowman Transition has done and like the ideas of these videos. We would, I can't, yeah, we would love to meet regarding production approaches, potential costs, and what the product would look like. But current interim commitment is to fund solar panels on the bike barn, but still waiting for costs, so it is unclear, but doubtful whether there will be remaining funds to allocate to the Bowman Transition for this video project. This year. Yeah, this year. This year. Bingo. I've been to this table for source. 11 hours. Oh, well, you're doing magnificent now. Oh, thank you so much. Fantastic. Here's the fourth point is looking for other sources. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, uh, the municipality. What you got, Steph? Um, I, 
Nothing much better than the other one. Can we just, can I just work on it and maybe send it around? Yeah, sure. Okay. I think that's probably yeah. best. Thank you. Because sure. you know what we're trying to say. Right? I think so. Yeah. Excellent. Any more on the golden transition? Uh, all right. No, not right now. Okay. And? So we're going to vote on that in principle then? Yeah. Okay. All in favor of uh, the, the gist of that uh, <laughs> night. I love it. And, and, uh, and we, we realize that Steph will uh, uh, put her magic into it. It will be uh, stunningly eloquent. And, and uh, um, we will uh, uh, have a look at it and, and uh, make any suggestions that uh, will make it even more brilliant. Mm -hmm. All right, um, the Climate Emergency Subcommittee, uh, and I could take the, um, uh, the weight off of Jeff and Ellen's shoulders and just and, and talk about it, or uh, and I'm very uh, uh, willing to step back and let you guys uh, Mm -hmm. Speaking personally and probably for Jeff, I'm glad you accept your offer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, the, the subcommittee met on last weekend. Yes. Um, and uh, put together a, um, uh, a set of recommendations that are in the package. Um, Page 37. Of 46. 37 to 39. Yeah. 37, yep. Yeah. So, um, this is, uh, it's based on uh, uh, what Islands Trust and Metro Vancouver uh, were, have done with their. Uh, declaration of, of uh, uh, climate emergency. And um, it has on the, uh, the, the last two pages um, the big moves that we recommend. And uh, uh, we actually surpassed Islands Trust and Metro Vancouver in the number <laughs> of uh, big moves that we're uh, recommending. But they're all great big moves, and uh, uh, I'm sure that when their staff see these, they will uh, they will copy them. Um, so um, we're uh, just. Would you like to just read it? What What I'd like to do is get approval of this uh, after review and, and amendments if, if needed. Um, so that uh, we can pass this on to um, uh, council and also um, I can uh, uh, pass this information on to the, the kids of Bowen that uh, did the, the climate strike to, to let them know that uh, uh, some of the old folks are listening to them and, and uh, doing something uh, about it. So I've got a few edits. Okay. I'm going to suggest it. So on, on the first page, yep. uh, number two, I don't like the words, like I hate using the word mitigation because no one knows what it means. Yep. Yeah. Um, so instead, highlights greenhouse gas reduction and climate change adaptation policies in the island plan. Because that's greenhouse gas reduction. Like those are the two yeah. things, cut emissions and adapt to the changes that are coming regardless. Right. Okay. Direct, clear. That's greenhouse gas reduction. Reduction. And and climate change adaptation, or you could say adaptation to the changing climate, if you want to just use vernacular or simple words. Dropping the word policies. Uh, no, keep policies. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, keep policies. Yeah. And uh, in the island plan. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
And then the other one is, is, is number six. Yeah. I'm worried about that. And I uh, direct staff to report back to BIM Council on measures and land use planning actions that the municipality can. Um, staff are busy. I don't think we can ask them to do more stuff. We, we can we can come up with ideas, recommend to staff, yeah. and then staff can say, we mm, can't do that, or yeah, that's a good idea, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. But so I don't want kill that one. I don't, I'd rather kill that one if yeah. people are okay with that. Yeah. I mean, Carla, I have like, I have to say I disagree. Okay. Um, and uh, um, just one voice from it, but yeah. this is this is I think what local government should be doing is. Um, reductions in the carbon pollution from in corporate operations and taking measures on, on, on uh, climate change reductions. I mean, I understand staff is busy. This is a valid, I, yeah. valid, valid argument, but I mean, this is, this is a big part of the argument that's going on all over the globe is that we have to move this stuff to the forefront. Yeah. This is my take. Yeah. Would it, could we make it less nasty um, <laughs> by say instead of direct to, uh, staff encourage staff um, or is that a weasel word we right? also have the energy and emissions plan which is being you know people are doing stuff True. yeah yeah but it's not it's not that we're just like oh, yeah. you know like we're, yeah. we are For doing sure. stuff and sure. and we have that as a as guidance yep. to follow and we will have to do another one uh, probably next year. Yep. Yeah. So that's so kind of, redundant. that really, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, that's kind of what, I, what I'm thinking. Okay. Yeah. So, okay, I, I suggest uh, we, I, we put a wooden state through this one. Uh, and also thinking of council of members looking at it and they would probably say exactly what. Yeah. I was just saying. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anything else, David? Um, yes. <laughs> this is an obvious one. Yep. In ten, the seven big moves, not six. Where is that? Where is that? Top of the next page. Oh yeah. There we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And back to sort of number six, like number seven is nice. Direct staff to help guide and support community efforts to reduce. It's, it's softer um, yeah, and yeah. It's, it's positive. It was just reading. Yeah. 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 So again, these are great, but more and more we're, I don't know, is plastics part of climate change? No. No. That is shut yeah. no. We're all yeah. gonna, we all eat yeah. a thousand pieces of plastic a year. And, and that's what I just heard today. I mean, it's, it's, it's on my mind. Yeah. Males more than females. No. Really? Oh, I didn't hear that part. Yeah. They didn't give the details. It's because we eat worse. more. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or, if we, or eat worse. Yeah. <laughs> but if we drink water out of water bottles, you're ingesting more plastic. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah, I just how long <laughs> using this and feeling good about it. Yeah, I, I have a, a, a metal water bottle, but I, I bet you I'm just ingesting more metallic part of this. So. Yeah. Um, do we need to uh, go through these in any more detail or? Uh, uh, should I ask people to, uh, uh, on a deadline of, um, say, half five days, review this and, and send back any uh, uh, revisions they'd like to, to see? Or not that's fair. Is it possible we could be happy with it tonight, though? Or is there more review? I haven't seen yeah. anything that, yeah, I would change. I mean, I haven't gone over the funding. Tell them, but it's looking for like that. I, I think that the, yeah, I know that the, the people that were on the, the subcommittee have have, uh, have gone through this in fairly uh, heavy detail. Um, uh, mind you, editor David has found some good uh, changes to make uh, 
which is, is great. Um, I, I just would like to make sure that it's um, uh, as as strong as it can be. But okay, so big move number five. Yeah. Um, Dan works with Metro Vancouver in progress to develop an integrated online system that can process all organic waste produced on the island into soil. So that would preclude the notion of of the bioreactor you know, turning to energy. No. No. Okay. Don't, don't know. Yeah. No. And that's so, this is general enough that nobody's gonna say, okay. oh, this isn't soil, this is you know, good, good enough. Good enough, yeah. 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 Um, so would people like to spend some more time right here and, and now or, or shall we uh, um, I can, I can speak to, to bits of it if people want to. I mean, four of them are on transportation, and that's because almost all bones emissions, 80% of our emissions are from transportation. So transportation is a critical one. The other one, um, the adaptation is all around carbon storage and log, getting rid of logging and conservation development, things like that, to try to protect our forests mm -hmm. so that they can um, um, look after themselves as well as they can in, in a changing climate and to help deal with issues around fire. Um, the uh, organic, the processing organics um, on island is actually a transportation issue as well because they're already being turned into soil, um, but it's a Pemberton. So it'd be nice to do it on the island. And, and uh, so that I would no longer be buying compost from the mainland, I'd be able to get it here on boat. So this, Transportation in two ways would be would be reduced. Um, the the um, big move number six, energy consumption. This is the this is a really interesting one because this is the one that people can get involved in more, like make your house better, um, and it makes your house more comfortable and uh, costs less to uh, um, uh, to heat it, um, and it's also jobs because if if we're going to have people, like I talked to to Greg. Uh, Carmi, uh, you know, about heat pumps, because my house is cold. And he says, step one, airtight. Step two, more insulation. Step three, heat pumps. Like, do the other two first. So basically, to make our homes reduce emissions from our homes, it's re-insulation, airtight, and it's jobs for people on Bowen to do that work. Mm -hmm. so. And, you know, it just occurred to me, too, that this is, uh, uh, th these big moves are, um, titles for uh, videos yeah, I agree. Bone in Transition. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. I was thinking of uh, a Bone in Transition particularly with Big Room yeah. 6. We need yeah. people to help, you know, because like, okay, I was thinking of heat pumps, so I, go, I went to the province and looked at this things for heat pumps, I got lost in no time. It was too complicated for me and I'm reasonably smart. And I, you know, know about heat pumps. <laughs> and so if it's too complicated for me, it's too yeah. complicated for most people. Yeah. And so we need people who are experts to help. And it could be Bowen in Transition. It develops, you know, some expertise, go around and, and offer a service to help people set it up, work your way through the various funds that are available, and what kind of heat pump do you need, and where is it, and is yeah. it water, is it, and so on, all that kind of yeah. stuff that I got lost trying to figure out. Yeah. Any more comments, Dave? So big move number one is zero emissions ferry. Yeah. That should yeah. be a standalone one. But what about zero emissions? Cars and scooters and bikes and it's we... a good question. Yeah. Um, Excellent. The tricky part about that is that that's people's own decisions, like to get an electric car. Um, we're building the path so that people can, yeah. you know, that's part of this active transportation. Um, we're putting in charging station in, in the cove. Oh, did I tell everybody about that? Oh, that happened. <laughs> <laughs> another, council, another council update. Yeah, so the charging station, we will have a charging station. It'll be, you know, the library parking lot, the one on this side of the library. Um, and then the, okay, if you're in that parking lot and you're looking towards the Heron Nest, it's a um, um, corner on the left, the first corner on the left. In right. other words, yeah. the very first. Right off really, the road. Uh, right off the road, yeah. high visibility spot. Yeah. Is it just one? Just one. Many? It's yeah. one for now. Yeah. That's the first one. Is a telephone pole right there, so they can tie it, yeah. tie it in quite nicely. Yeah. And that is so important. Yeah. A for tourists who want to come. Exactly. That's B for people like me who rent, and I can't put a charging station in my home. Excellent. So. Mm -hmm. it's yeah. A big, yeah. It's a it's a yeah. big big yeah. step. Yeah. 
So, so to be clear, a yeah. charging station, basically just one car can be there at a time, yes. but it will take a half hour and it's done? Is that the idea? Right. Yeah. So it's a it's a step two. It's a, it's a stage two. Stage two. Call. So if stage two or most of the cars, the research I've been doing for a, a stage two, if you have an empty battery, you're looking at like a couple of hours. Okay. And I noticed in the, um, in the at the council meeting because I watched it because I heard the charging station, because it's a three hour parking spot. Yeah. So that kind of works mm -hmm. everything out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. And so for people, and my thought was, well, I live here, I live like great bike, so I can go down at like 11 o'clock at night or whatever and plug my car. And so, but yeah, because I think the intent is mainly to encourage people who are driving exactly. and give them, exactly. like people yeah. might be thinking, well, I have nowhere to charge my car, yeah, so yeah. I'm not going to go. So. Yeah. When I read the council, visitors. Yeah, when I read the council update, I was figuring, oh, is it just going to be for one car or maybe for two cars off of one supply? One, one car for now. Okay. Yeah. One car for now. So, I think uh, Mark's question is still uh, a, a, a good one because uh, uh, the, the question about uh, uh, what about encouraging um, uh, electric vehicles and that kind of thing, because uh, we're in Big Move 6, we're um, encouraging and enabling uh, homeowners mm -hmm. to, to upgrade their um, uh, their home and so yeah. it, the, the, it, it seems logical that uh, the uh, that it's it, it would fit you know yeah. it, a parallel would be to encourage and enable um, people to uh, uh, move to electric uh, based uh, transportation mm -hmm. and we're already doing part of that with the uh, um, uh, solar panels for, for the um, bike park the bike park so um, is it some and is I it, think it's almost oh god we're going to have another we're going to go up to 80 well, uh, so, or this is my thing I was going that way too is it one of these where it can be blended into move three. So is an active yeah. transportation more about like a physical powered, like a human powered? It thing? is, yeah. Mm -hmm. But, I, I mean, I think, I think the big move, I mean, I think it's too low level to have its own big move. It, it might be a medium <laughs> move, so. But I think it would fold into big move six pretty well. It's all, it's, it's all part of reducing your overall energy consumption. I mean, if, I mean that's... And it, oh, yeah. geez, yeah. Blend it into six. Yeah, blend it into six. Yes, yeah. yeah, and so... Although you know, six, it looks like it's kind of... It, it is. It's focused on homes. Well, I, I think we just... Um, uh, in, the, uh, in the title, we removed from homes at the end of the sentence. And it's not about homes. It's so different, though. Yeah, it is. Like I agree, it's it's the same. Um, I was thinking of trying to tie it into one because zero emissions ferries, zero emission transportation. Yeah. See, I thought of that, but yeah, I think that should be a that's that's, that's, that's big. Man. Yeah. I don't believe that is a, that's yeah. the biggest move. It's the big one, but local core. Yeah, I think you're right. I think we need one. Um, I could work. I could try working one and send it around and see if I can tie it in. Sure. I mean. Yeah. Like, like, to reduce transportation emissions are four things. There are only four things. Um, one is um, better fuels, and the province and the feds are working on that, by right? lower carbon fuels. The next is um, better cars, so zero emission or hybrids or whatever. The next is land use planning, so people don't have to move around as much. And the next is providing alternatives, like buses and active transportation. Those are the four things. Mm -hmm. yep. and so. Okay, so let's let's. Uh, I'll, I'll work on it. I'll try. Uh, like I, am worried about eight because then they start to be, be medium yeah. moves rather than big moves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the more you, the kind of waters it down, the more you have. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I go with number. I go with what he's saying around number three. I think that one could be transformed just slightly, shift the title a little bit, and then you can slip it in because it's very friendly to have a station in the cove, usable. It's friendly. It is friendly. Yeah. So it could just be added there, maybe. Yeah, well, I mean, there are other things we can do. Like, for instance, we could have, just like you've got um, um, uh, 
lanes on the highways for people who are car sharing. And you know, you could have um, a zero emission vehicle um, lane where people can get on the ferry automatically. Like that would create, create a fuss. And if we tried doing that right now, because only a handful of people have electric cars, well, one. Um, and that, um, you know, down the road you could do things like that, like to have a lane where you get automatically on the boat if you've got a zero emission vehicle or something like that. So there are a way of things that, that, that could be done. Um, um, yeah, and, and you know, on other parts of this to it, if there is the solar co-op, why wouldn't one of the, uh, um, Things that they would uh, be um, group buying would be electric bicycles and electric scooters. You know, to make it so that uh, yeah. you could purchase one uh, uh, at a discount. Um, but anyway, I'm going to leave this to David okay, to I'll, I'll work on. How about, so, just, how about just active and electric transportation yeah. in a friendly community? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, again, and I was thinking about that, I would almost like three to stay just ab about the active transportation. I keep coming back to six and thinking it's about like homes, but instead of making it about homes and buildings, it's making it about people. Mm -hmm. Like how to assist yeah. people to reduce energy consumption and emissions. Yeah. You know, and then yeah. in the description, it's... In that sense, Mark. Yeah, right. Yeah. But then again, you guys wanted to focus on homes. And building, so I, I don't know how you feel about that. I, I'm just a Yeah. Uh, well, let's put the, the heavy weight on editor David. Okay. And uh, he's, he's heard some some good ideas here yeah. for uh, for different mm -hmm. options to, to approach it. And uh, in the past, you you've even uh, tried a couple of, of, of different options and, yeah. and said choose one. Uh, so. What, whatever you, uh, I, I think you've got uh, a, a lot of the, uh, the knowledge and expertise on, on this too, David. To okay. What does everybody think of eight? Is it too bad to have eight? eight big, or do we state in eight, instead of it being eight big moves, do we say eight moves or whatever? Do we make it eight or is it eight too many? And is this too small? It is kind of small. I think because it's not a heck of a lot that the municipality can do. Yeah. I think that. We don't want to make it too big. Yeah. I think there's that overload issue. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm already worried about that. Nine moves. Yeah. Yeah. Ten commandments. <laughs> they can only handle three. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll find something. Okay, so thanks. Almost finished. Um, I'm so sorry. Uh, no, no, I understood. It's just something that's right. very validated. Oh, yeah. I actually have that um, recommendation. You guys will look at it. Yeah, sure. would like to explore engaging in the proposed collaboration. Like, we're not going to say we're definitely going to do it. I'd like to have kind of figured out a little bit. I think that was kind of what Will was saying. Yeah. Explore engagement. Engaging in. Engaging in. Okay. Okay. We already voted on it. We already voted on it. Yeah. Yeah. All in favor. No, well done. <laughs> we already voted on it. <laughs> Good job. Oh my God. Steph, if you wanted to write the CARE grant, 
is to fund solar panels, just so you don't say funds is to fund. Thank you. I'm looking for. Thank you. <laughs> funds is to fund. Funds is to fund. I know it was probably bothering you. It was really bothering <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well done, thanks. Okay, thank you, yeah. sir. Video speed. Yeah. Okay. New business. And that is the lease. Mm -hmm. That would be the email that I sent you? Yep. Oh, I heard to that. Oh my gosh, that's good. She's amazing. She's so good. So what is this news? Uh, I received this email, I believe it was from EMBC, and it had to do with... Um, from who, sorry? From e EMBC. Emergency, Emergency Management, yeah. okay. Uh, but it came, I'm sure it came through the EPAC, and it was um, a request to whether or not our community would be oh, interested. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, it was very good. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. In like an expression it. of interest yeah. around the, yeah, the Aboriginal lands and any committees we want to create. I can't remember exactly oh, the way it went. Maybe I'm thinking of a different thing. Well, she's going to get it, okay. so uh, my interpretation... I thought it was a fire one. No, this is not fire. Oh, okay. This is actually to create, as I understand, a... The community climate preparedness yeah. workshop. Yeah. Community oh, climate yeah, to host, preparedness. Oh, to host one. Yes. yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. No, right, no, right, right. Yeah, I thought it was good. So I just had a few thoughts, but mm. I'm, you know, sort of going like, yes, could we really like to do mm. that? Yeah. yeah, who was proposing it? I forget. Um, the province. Was it yes. the province? The Fraser Basin. Oh, yes. Fraser Basin yeah. Council. Oh, right, right, right. So it's a, a five hour, do just read it? Yes. Yeah. Five hour climate, climate preparedness workshops in Indigenous and rural communities with less than 10,000 people throughout BC in 2019 and 2020. Um, so we can fill out this form as an expression of interest. We need to do it by Monday, June 24th, um, and they'll be in touch with those who are shortlisted. So I, I think I looked at the form and it was, um, the workshops are funded by Natural Resources Canada and um, the Ministry of so the deadline so is the 24th, so we need to make a decision. Yeah. The 24th of June, um, the other thing too though is that what questions in the survey include, and I didn't, because I looked at this really oh, quickly, because I was like, oh, whatever, I would just yeah. say, like, it's just a, you, know, like, you know what I mean? Like, yep. It's one of those things, like, yeah. is it just a name and address kind of thing? But this is, this seems, a little bit more involved, so it would take some work. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's like a grant application, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, do you want me to read this out? Because sure. I don't think it'll be in the email then. No. Yeah, but sure. Steph, you could put it on. It was a link in there. So the questions in the survey include, what types of concerns do you have about future changes in climate will affect your community? I remember seeing this last year, yeah. How would a community climate preparedness workshop help achieve your community's climate change adaptation goals? Max 150 words. Uh, what type of information is your community hoping to get out of the community climate preparedness workshop? And how will this information be used? Which other organizations would you like to involve in this workshop? Uh, how has your community been involved in climate change adaptation or climate preparedness to date? Yeah, there's lots yeah, of so there's, yeah. there's, there's more. There's more? How has, how has your community applied for climate change adaptation funding? If so, was the adaptation successful? Um, and they asked about partnerships as well. If we've done any partnerships for adaptation initiatives. Well, I think we'd be a good... Be, the fact that we're an island, and all of our water comes from here, and it's getting drier and drier, our trees are dying. Um, um, you know, we can really walk, like we need, we need, one thing we really need to understand is what is the, what is our capacity in terms of potable water on our island? We don't know, and that's one of the things that you guys are going to, 
sort of investigate, but that's something we really would, could really do with getting good scientific information on how much water do we have, and then what are the options for storing it? Like, should we have a bylaw where every new house from now on has, um, has water storage? Mm -hmm. A cistern? Mm -hmm. Like, I think so, but anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah. For, for any gardening needs, but also for fire protection. Um, so there's a whole lot about fire and water, I think, that we could really talk about. We also had, in terms of storm damage last year, like we had that dock damage down there, and we had two or three culverts blown out, costing about $900,000. Wow. And so, you know, the municipality's thinking, oh, what kind of funds are we gonna have to have sitting at home, sitting in our, in our reserve um, for climate damage every year? Mm -hmm. um, so we need to get a better sense of that. Um, I think so we can also look at food sovereignty in certain issues that we were looking at at the little talk the other night. Oh, yeah. so some good pieces that could come in, just ideas. But, yeah. yeah, so the people working on food. Yeah. So it just needs someone would have to do it. That's trouble. You have to write all that stuff out. 150 words. 150 words takes time because you have to think really carefully. Well, I'd really like to propose it if anybody wants to work on it with me. I, I need something a little bit more uh, savvy in some ways, but I'd be certainly up for working the module. I want to inject by what I was going to ask. What is, what is the tackle? I'm um, unclear what needs to be done in order to... Fill in the questionnaire. Yeah, just yeah, 150 words, 150 words, 150 words. I'll work on Yeah? Okay, that's good, thanks. Okay, I'll work on it with Jeff. Okay, thank you. Um, so, so we've got a subcommittee of three. Okay, but we need to... It's council that would have to do this. So we need a recommendation that council do it, and that will provide, will help by providing a draft of the uh, questionnaire. Um, Is that what you think? I don't. I don't think it needs to go to council. No. No. I think you should just draft it all up, and you can send it to me, and I'll fill out the survey. Yeah, but it's just an application. Yeah. But. Yeah, but. <laughs> yeah, bin is applying. Oh. No. Well, I apply for stuff all the time. Do you? I just think it's not matching funds. It's, matching yeah, funds. I don't think it costs anything, and no. um, I think I just think that because it's uh, June twenty fourth and it's already yeah. like a, right, and there's a council yeah. meeting on Monday, so it's already not on that agenda. Yeah. And yeah. the next agenda after that is well, I don't know what what's Monday about the tenth or something like that. Next one's the twenty fourth. Yeah, so the next one. You're right. But if David's getting his spidey senses, might want to touch base. What's that? Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I think that's a good idea, um, just to touch base. And I, I also think that uh, I, I can think of two councillors that I would expect would want to go. Three councillors, maybe. Yeah. Um, and so. And they'll come here, won't they? Yeah. Yeah, they'll come yeah, here. Yeah, I think yeah. they'll come yeah. here. Yeah, I'll go to Yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, I, I would hope members of this committee would, uh, yeah. would oh, yeah. go if, 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 uh, if it fits their, their schedules. Yeah. Fraser Basin Council is really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I guess we're we're um, committed to. We've got a committee of three. Um, Carla's going to just check in with um, council about to, to check about David's spidey senses. Do we need to um, we, involve we could, them? We could make a recommendation if you want to, and then um, within that, we could ask council. Um, what, like we could include a question from here, say like what uh, what their priorities might be in terms of a climate preparedness workshop, if they wanted mm -hmm. to have any kind of a discussion, if, do you think? I'm, I'm not sure, I'm stuck on this, I'm not quite sure how to proceed. Um, so we need to keep counsel, we counsel and Kathy to know that we're doing this. Uh, okay. Um, uh, but we're doing it yeah. on their behalf. Um, um, yeah. Because there's no time for there's yeah. no time for yeah. to go to council. Yeah. And, yeah. You know. Well, and the worst thing that happens is that they don't like it. They just say no. There's enough. I think there's enough time if if they bring it to the next meeting, um, and as long as everyone is still actually working on it at the same time before that we get their approval. Then, yeah. Then I think 
this yeah. plenty. Well, so the council meeting is on the 24th? Yeah, on the 24th. And the deadline is the 24th? Oh, it's the 24th? Yeah. Or the 24th? No, for, for this is the 24th, isn't it? No, but we're talking about council, council meeting before the 24th. The deadline is? Oh, the deadline's gone. June 24th, mm -hmm. same as council day. Yeah. Okay. So That's the next council, it's 24th. Yeah. Oh, it's they, they're going to, so if we get shortlisted, they will contact. Okay, I'll send it out to Gary. Okay. It's just an application. Uh, to me, it's like applying for a grant. I don't ask anyone if I can apply for a grant. Okay. I just hope I get money and then say, I got hey, money. Guess, guess what? I got money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But like more cool yeah, than this. this. <laughs> so she asked counsel. Yeah. Oh, well, that's kind of weird. Yeah. I mean, but we're not spending any money. We're, we're, we don't, because we don't have to we're accept the, work. no. the workshop. I mean, there. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, there's no, there's no harm in filling out the app, you know, having the application yeah. ready, and then if there's pushback, then it just doesn't happen. We should have our ducks in a row going. Yeah. Um, okay. This is more that we don't in, internally want any surprises, but there's yeah. no downside from the outside. Right? Yeah, well, if the minutes just say you're playing, you'll be doing the step of the application, that's in the minutes, and these minutes will go in the day. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, no, we'll just work on this. I'm going to send a note to uh, Gary and uh, Kathy yeah. tomorrow. Perfect. Yeah. 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 Okay. Saying, you know, we have to be done by the 24th. So, no time for council approval. Uh, but here's what we're doing. Are we, are we all okay with this? Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, a minimum of staff time. Carl will need to help a little bit, but, you know, not a heck of a lot. Yeah. Okay, for some questions, I don't know. Have we applied for any adaptation? Grants? I have no idea. Sorry, I don't think so. Yeah. There's 14 questions in like the that. survey, and they only show you like seven of them, so it's a little bit of a surprise. Oh, really? That's probably the, those are yeah. probably all the longer ones. Okay. So. I think if you go to the end, there's an option to okay. see the big survey. No, I've, I've, already, oh. I've already tried. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Um, could you somebody just email it to me now so I've got a fresh version so that I can I'll forward it to them tomorrow. Okay, done. Okay. So what is the next step um, on on the venue? So aside from your notification, David, of um, find some time when the three of us can get together and, and we'll sit down. We'll just sit down and, and work out. Us. Yeah, we'll just sit down. Yeah. What's that? Do you want a little doodle ball? Or? Sure. Yeah. Okay. I don't have a lot of time, unfortunately. So, but do you have a preference? Evenings, day? Okay. Day. okay. But, well, Jeff works up. I work part time in town, part time at home. So. Okay. okay. Yeah, that could work. Okay. Yeah. So, which one of you is going to do the doodle ball? Not me. I've never done one, but I'll figure it out. Yeah. I'm kind of like that. Yeah. It's that just stupid. Uh, I could do it so anybody can. Oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, that's end of new business. Well done, everybody. And then um, information items. So the island plan will always be linked on your agenda in order to keep us. <coughs> Connected to the strategic plan of the yeah. council. Um, and then there is a, I also attach um, the visual new um, recommend, uh, resolutions from council that are relevant but not actionable. So there's something about that. House Sound Community Forum, the information items, and Metro Climate Change Conference, which council was talking about. Is a little question for you.
That's not fine. That's not fine. That's not fine. That's not fine. <laughs> Wednesday, July 3rd? Yeah, it should be in your calendars. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. okay, so I see I, also, I agreed to do something about where our garbage goes, didn't I? Uh, you're going to talk to someone in Metro Vancouver right. and about maybe. Okay. Oh, right, right. Okay. this summer. Can come and speak or something. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's all right. I think we're done here. Uh, do we have a motion to adjourn? Well, lots of <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.